What is up, everybody? It's Jay the Stingray back here once again. Hope everybody's having a great July 3rd. Hope everybody's watching uh, Return of the Living Dead today. That is the day that they, the day that happened. And uh, tonight we're doing The Unborn. Um, I ate way too much lasagna tonight. I feel like crap. Uh, I drank a ton of coffee, and uh, but I'm looking forward to watching this movie. Uh, I don't know why we're focusing so weird, but if you guys haven't seen this, it is on the uh, the Vimeo, and this is a really fun movie. For some reason, I uh, God damn, what's going on here? Uh, for some reason, I, I saw this a lot on cable back in the day. Um, of course, it was edited, so I uh, bought this DVD years ago. I don't even know if it's been released on anything better than a DVD, but uh, yeah, check it out. the uh, The links in the description and. Um, uh, it's also posted in the comments there. I'll post it again later on before we uh, start the commentary. But uh, yeah, let's get some guests coming in here. <laughs> Always with the uh, little people. Yeah, I thought that was pretty appropriate. It's awesome. It's awesome. How's it going? Good, man. Thanks for coming on tonight. Absolutely. And I, I will say, if you want to upgrade The Unborn, it is on Scream Factory Blu-ray now. Oh, they put that out. Awesome. Yeah. Was it a double feature or just the just the, the first one? Just the first one right now. I wouldn't be That's surprised cool. if the second ended up being like one of their website exclusives, though. Yeah. It's a, it's a fun one. I uh, This is like a... You know, you know, I'm a big creature feature fan. Also, love evil kids. This is kind of like a combination of both. So, yeah, perfect movie for me. Timely right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's got uh, Brooke Adams and um, Lisa Kudrow, and I think one of the first appearances of Kathy Griffin that I remember in, yeah. a, in a feature. Kathy so, uh, Griffin, Lisa Kudrow, James Karen's in there. This one, uh, awesome. yeah, had some some stars. Speaking of Return of the Living Dead, awesome. Cool, man. Yes, yes. Let's see. Uh, I don't know who this is, but I'm going to take a stab at it. Hey, so we went to go take a shit. This motherfucker's in the fucking shitter, dude. What the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> is that Christian there? No, it's not Christian. Oh, my bad, man. What's going on? <laughs> no. I was just no, taking a stab okay. at who that was. What's going on, dude? My uh, my username, I didn't get to update it. Sorry about that. What's going on, guys? Oh, no problem. Cool, man. Yeah, thanks for hopping on. Oh, yeah, man. I, 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 I know what Dan's talking about. I've seen this Blu-ray, but I have no idea what this movie is. It's a lot of fun, man. When's it, when, did it, when did it come out? Uh, 91, I believe. Yeah, 91. 91. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a fun that movie. Early nineties. Okay. Uh, it's Roger Corman. What was it? Uh, was it Concord? Well, that's that's yeah, a good new, start. Roger Corman. New new Concord. I think it was really his daughter was kind of behind this one, but his daughter or his wife won. I'm not sure. One of the wife. other Cormans. Yeah. It's kind of like one of the sister companies. It's right. Fr it's freaking bizarre that he's in his nineties, like ninety, well into his nineties now, and still working. He's He's one of those guys that, like, I have to keep going to see if he's still alive, you know? <laughs> I'm like, did I, did I miss it? Yeah, maybe he's still alive. And no, I it. no. It, it would, I think, I think he's earned being a big deal when he does pass. Absolutely. I, I wish yeah. I had seen him when he was still doing conventions, you know, maybe 10 years ago. You know, I think yeah. he, was, he was still doing stuff. Yeah, no. Absolute icon. Uh, another. Kentucky gentleman coming in here. Let's ride. Let's ride. Broncos. Let's country. ride. Perfect. Okay. One more time. Broncos country. Let's ride. 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 I don't know no why. Chip. I don't know why they replaced the green screen with whatever some Trump bullshit behind that, but I couldn't get the original green screen footage to to upload on there for some reason. So that's oh, what really? I had to use. So that, that wasn't intentional. That was just the only one I could find at work. So what's going on, man? Not a whole lot. 
You having a Still? good uh, good day today? Yeah, you gotta you gotta introduce yourself as the champ now every time. No, champ is here, boys. You got your belt on? Mm, no, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> Just gotta wear it every show for the next month now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do like the AEW press conferences in every video from now on with my <laughs> belt on the table. Got a, got a full house in the chat tonight. We got a karate champ. I don't know who that is. What's up? What's up? <coughs> me, of course. And uh, uh, of Tiny Town. I don't think I've seen that one. So I want to tell you, Big T, I got uh, Cutthroat Island on the way. I don't think it's going to get here in time for this week, but uh, maybe next week I'll be able to do that one. Uh, I'll look that up, man. I don't know. That kind of looks like something I'd like, maybe. It's uh, Gina Davis, I think. And Matthew Modine, for you Stranger Things fans. I saw it in theaters, and I loved it. It's it's like a pirate movie, right? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's... Actually, a lot of fun. It tanked something fierce, but it's a fun Andy movie. Fan of? It's been a long time, man. How you doing, Indy? What's up, Indy? Happy birthday, Jake. Thank you. Yes. He's dying breed. I don't know who this guy is. I'll have some drinks with you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I went to my mom's place, and she made lasagna, and I ate entirely too much, man. I felt like crap, but oh. this is a... Uh, Fun movie. Hopefully, I can uh, be you know, feeling a little bit better by the end of this. <laughs> Went and bought a bunch yeah. of fireworks earlier, so we can. Don't uh, blow your hand off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> or if you do, don't post it, and be uh, sure to drink a lot. Record it and send it to me personally. You won't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> You could yeah. pull an MJF and just refuse to nominate anybody else and just call yourself like the forever champion. <laughs> that would be champ. awesome. You get ends right now. <laughs> you know, Dan, I don't know if you knew this, but I was looking, researching it because I was seeing past nominees and all that. But apparently, mm-hmm. they do, they take the years, um, the winners from the year, and they do a yearly one too. I don't know. If you know oh, that. no shit. I did not know that. So it's everybody that won against each other. That's how it looked. So cool. Very cool. Very cool. Well, shit. I should have just nominated people I knew I could beat. But damn. All right. I'll have to bump my game for the, <laughs> yeah. the All Stars. Karate just... champ. When did I go bald, bro? I've been bald. All right. <laughs> <laughs> been bald since I was like twenty four. It's better to just, yeah, accept it. Yeah, I was always one of them. Like, you know, I had teachers and stuff in high school, and they was always bald here, and they left this grow. I'm like, if I ever go bald, I'm just shaving it. I'm just going to accept it. Yeah, that's what I always said. If I went bald, I'd do that. Um, What is Tomcats? I was thinking a heartbreaker. Oh, oh, Tomcats, awesome. It's a... Jerry O'Connell. O'Connell, yeah. Yeah, I just remember okay. the the nut scene. You remember that one, Dan, on the keychain? Yeah, <laughs> oh, that movie, it's, it's a good movie, Jay. I don't know that I've seen that. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll look into it, Ben. Maybe we can do that down the road. I've got a Wishmaster coming. I know. I think uh, t- a week from this Wednesday, we're going to be doing uh, Wrong Turn 2 with Steak Sauce. Ooh, I, I love Wrong Turn 2. Do that one because he's a big fan of that. Of that let, me, let me know, G, when you want to do Wishmaster so I can have an excuse to buy that best drone set again. I love all four of those movies. Awesome. Um, I'm probably going to start that. Uh, are you going to do that on Sunday or Wednesday? Week. Because ain't you going to start doing two and two a week now? Yeah, at Wednesday? least two a week. I, I may step it up even more than that. Um, oh, nice. Um, yeah, Wednesday will be Unborn too, and then uh, I guess we'll just see from then. Okay. It was. Play out. Yeah. If you do Wishmasters, it'd be cool if you did on Sunday because I fucking love the movies too. Cool, man. Well, uh, yeah, I'll uh, let you know. See if we can. You need to pick that. Up. Go ahead and get yeah. that, Drew. Thank you. Yeah. Too bad that's not from that twelve ninety nine era. Of the I know it's such an expensive yeah. set, dude. But but I love all them, all of them. I, I think I, honestly, I think I like them 
like I like each one better than the previous one. Ooh, I don't know. After no, uh, I don't know, dude, him like like the his whole like issue in the fourth one is hilarious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen four. Is that the pimple on the ass kill? <laughs> if I remember pimple right, on the ass, I don't know, but like his whole deal is like. He he can't grant this last wish because he's in love with the girl or something. It's hilarious. <laughs> Three three's the casino at the end, right? No, two. Uh, that's two's two. The yeah. Casino? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Which was the last one? What what, what the actor, actor? What's his name? Something. Uh, Devon. Andrew Duvall. 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 Yeah, Duvall. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The uh, third I, I one like was it. Sean Connery's kid. Jason Connery is the is the gym. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which match I fucking love, which, especially the first two. So I'm competing with Piz out right now, apparently. So, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's always, a, always a tough competition there. Where the hell's Corey at? I don't know. I got some questions for him about this fucking Plex thing. Oh, yeah. I think he was. He's been around today. That'd be a fun commentary. It is. I just bought that on Blu-ray too. I think Makeflix has somebody said had a forty percent off sale right now. They do, but it kind of sucks. <laughs> there's nothing good. Um, well, at least not. I mean, there's a couple of the Camp Bloods are on there, but it's none of the ones that I would want. It's like four and six, I think. I, I would be down for the sale because I need like uh, I want to get that Chupa movie. And Chick Boxer. Those are the ones I really want from the SOV stuff. The, um, let's see. Bloodlighting is really good if you have <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's one I wanted too. Bloodlighting. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> this is, this is not, not <clears throat> incorrect. I got lots of good stuff coming for you guys tonight. I've been busy <laughs> oh, doing God. some research, finding some good, uh, uh, videos where people are, they're all fine. Wait, are you sure? No. Nope. He's gonna he's gonna pull you up, and there's gonna be a guy getting his hand blown off. <laughs> Let's see. Let me get a start a little, a little easy here. Oh yeah, I got a really good video here, and I got that 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 NASCAR fan coming too. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this would happen if if someone tried to pull a uh, Will Smith in uh, Detroit. Oh. Hey, bro, that shit ass, bro. Say what? You put my grandma to sleep, and I just woke her up, bro. Oh. As long as you been dead, bro. I Will Smith smack shit out you right now, bro. Hey, man, you can try to do what you want to do. Man, what's up? We in Detroit, cuz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on up here, man. Yep, 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 that's still awesome, though. Maybe cooler if he actually shot him. That might have been funny. <laughs> Got a few of those videos, too. Oh, God. Farm school girls. Awesome. Well, Ben, man, you are, you are prolific with your movie watching, man. I need to go on Ben's level. I watched Ernest Goes to Jail today. Classic. Oh, nice. That's a good movie. Yes. I saw that in the theater. Really? I'm jealous. Oh. R.I.P. Not... Jim Varney. Yeah. Ken Kentucky um, native. Been a little while. But... Rest in peace either way. We got somebody. Somebody else trying to come in here. Who's this guy? Bag up, bag up, bag up, Terry. Put it reverse, Terry. Put it reverse. Oh, Lord, Lord, Jesus. 
Ow, Lord! Oh, Jesus! What the what, what you doing, Terry? Terry, what you doing? I don't care how many times I see that, it's still funny. <laughs> Fitting, too. <laughs> it is. Appropriate. And, What's and up, Corey? Since this came What's up? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, I, I switched you from the lady rolling down the hill. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> At least that one's not dead, though. So there's that. Right, Jay, do we still have my, my country song intro for next time? Remember which one that was? No, oh, how could you forget? I uh, I did want to just update you guys that uh, vinegar syndrome still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> still that. That's great. Is well, that in the store? I, I I love them. Please keep <laughs> sending me my stuff. <laughs> Anyway. You got any feedback on that from anybody? Not from them, no. <laughs> but it's all good. I think you'll be fine. You was very nice about it. I'm like um, Friday the 14th guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love no, you know, such I, a legendary video. In all honesty, <laughs> I'm not going to shit talk their product because it's a good product. But, uh, you know, if you're going to step up and try to be the big boys, and trying to get these big titles like Texas Chainsaw 2 that might attract some casual buyers down the road, you might want to step up your shipping process. That's all I'm saying. They've been needing to step that up for a few years now. It's pretty yeah. silly. You're going to run out of these fanboys that don't, that will forgive everything you do wrong. So I will forgive mm -hmm. them forever. I love them so much. Best boutique label out there. You know what's funny though is I. I said in the video that I canceled my order, but the two I really wanted, I, I bought from Orbit DVD. That shit shipped the same night. That's it, it depends where you're at. Like, for you, it's probably better to do Orbit. For whatever reason, your area just seems to get screwed. But I don't know. It's weird. It's they weird haven't even they shipped my buddy Alex's order. And they already shipped like a partner label order that I placed a week ago. Oh, Damn, wow. that's, messed that's up. Shitty. I don't get why why they're mailing like East Coast shit from Colorado. Like, shouldn't they mail it from their what do you say, New Hampshire or wherever they're located? Connecticut, I think. Oh, Connecticut. Is, yeah, which is it's also weird, like the shipping methods they use because like. All right, me and me and Jonathan, we're we're not very far from each other. Mm. They shipped his media mail from the post office. Mine came via FedEx. Like I don't understand mm. why there's a difference there. Yeah, mine was FedEx too. But all everything I've ever ordered from them, it's always came through FedEx too. Mm -hmm. And I will say, if you just order normal without the sale, it comes pretty mm. fast. Well, and, you know, Jonathan paid for expedited shipping. <laughs> he still hasn't gotten his shit yet. I oh, God. Yeah. Uh, so, but I, I think if you pay for expedited shipping, you should absolutely become priority. Like, you're giving absolutely. them. Absolutely. I mean, come on, man. What's, what's the point, then? I don't even know why it's an option, because I know it's still not going to come any faster that way. I don't know why they have that as an option. I guess to take <laughs> 10 more dollars or however much. Yeah, targeting. Big T's thing. I remember him mentioning that. That's that's bullshit. There, if you're if, if you're able to order the shit, you better be getting it. Yep, I agree. I think they're listing that shit on the website before it's even like printed. That's why it takes them like a month to ship shit because I mean it took well, them a I, month. Like I think it was like five weeks before I got a you know the the shipping notification. I've always said and stick to it. That I think they're scalping their slipcovers themselves. I don't really blame them, honestly. They wouldn't be the only ones either in the game doing that. I'm afraid. No, probably not. But 
you know what's funny is um my buddy bought two copies of that Jacko Blu-ray with the Linnea Quigley autograph. Yeah, um, that one. Later, yeah. he sold the other one for seventy-five bucks. You could probably buy the Blu-ray and have her sign at a convention for cheaper yeah. than that. That's right, you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to think. You know, you might live in the Midwest or something where you really don't have conventions as much, anyways. Uh, you know, you might be living in the middle of Nebraska and you just really want that, uh, that set. I mean, I was amazed for Jacko how quick that sold out. That's yeah. insane. They need to put that back on sale. I need it. I want that. I didn't care about the autograph because I don't care. I'm just going to wait until it goes back on sale. Uh, I'm looking at the make flicks. Someone else trying to come in here. Let it out. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> it's George Bush. George Bush. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Good, man. What's up, What's up President? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> You ever watched The Unborn before? No, but uh, it looks great. <laughs> Might change your opinion on some topics, but <laughs> An we're pro abortion. Is a now. good fetus. <laughs> Not so much in this one. Kind of got some issues. You guys ever hear about the uh, like fertility doctor that was just impregnating women with his sperm? Yes. Yeah. Hold on. Uh -huh. <laughs> you talking about my cousin Jimmy? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was like he fathered like what was it like five hundred kids or something? Yeah, it was a bunch. It was five hundred forty-three. Something like it was close, but it was like, a record. A lot were in this same small town, and I know there was like a concern that some brothers and siblings might be, you know, porking. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Well, I, there kind of is, but I guess, you know, yeah. no judgment. The more get an extra the more chromosome marry here. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> that's how my sister was born. There you go. Remember if there is any nudity in this? Uh, I think there's some tits in this. A little I cougar. believe. I don't, I don't think there, there's any cooter, Mr. President. I love me some cooter. <laughs> Directed by Rodman Flinder. Yes, yes. Not familiar with him. <laughs> yeah he actually went on to have a pretty big career in tv like really? lots and lots of big stuff but you do know him <laughs> probably the number one thing is he directed idle hands oh okay okay yes oh, and leprechaun yeah. Two. Yeah. leprechaun 2 also he, he knows how to make an entertainment oh movie. no that's my favorite leprechaun right there good movie yes Yes, but the big, big stuff is just television. Yeah, Brooke Adams is awesome. Yes. Love her in uh, Invasion of Body Snatchers hey, remake. Really? Yes. I didn't watch that. Love that movie. Got that on 4K. I don't know if the transfer is any good yet, but I haven't watched it. <laughs> Surprise. I just buy movies. I don't watch them. You know? I just I don't even watch movies. I just buy them. Like I just bought you know uh, ten copies of the Batman yesterday. <laughs> Never even <laughs> seen the movie. I don't know. What's going you got on. one where he's pointing this way. One where he's pointing that way. Yeah. yeah. There's Good thing one you got a basement. Yeah, I got a basement that's blue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> There's the that oh, yeah. sixth copy has the bulge. The others don't have the crotch bulge. So you know, and it's oh, lenticular. Yeah. Yeah, like one's embossed too, and one's not slipcover. I throw some bat nipples on there. I'm gonna buy that sucker in a hurry. 
Absolutely. Anybody pick up Revenge of the Cooter? Not yet. Not yet. I would. Is Barbara in that? Uh, killer new Pussy. release. Put killer it's pussy a Severin out. package. Nice. But does it have a slip cover? Because I'm not in if it does. It's got it. a multiple slips. If you know what I mean. <laughs> nice. Let's see. What have I, I mean, I know I talked about uh, the black phone. Anybody besides Dan seen that yet? Or I know uh, George Bush saw it the other day. Why has it got to be black? <laughs> that's that. That's a good point, sir. No, I, I haven't seen it. I'm probably going to wait till Dan hooks me up with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you mean that other Dan that does that? Yeah, yeah. that other guy. I saw it. You want to talk okay. about it, Jay? Spoiler free. Sure. <laughs> sure. Hold on one second, though. Let me bring another uh, character in here. Oh, this is, this is a funny one, too. You guys are going to love this. Oh, Isn't that awesome? Oh, hey, who is this? My name's Hayden. What's up? <laughs> oh, look at this guy. That's your new thing. I like it. That's your new thing. It's too fucking hot. It's like 85 in my house. Look at this shit. I'm, I'm very hot now. Hot and bothered. Ba Barbara's not doing it for you anymore? Barbara's out of town. There you go. She what, she's getting her yeah. third hip replacement? <laughs> uh, she's in the basement tied up at the moment. <laughs> so Can Black Phone. Go? Oh yeah, Black Phone, that's right. I uh, I love Ethan Hawke in pretty much everything. So I was thought he was very menacing in this. I, I mean... I mean, dude's a good actor, you know, in, in general, yeah. but he was very menacing in this, I thought. Yes. <laughs> there was an audible ew in my theater when he's like, I won't do anything you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Got an ew in the theater. Yeah, you're going to like it. You know, that's my greatest pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is, uh, it's time to play Naughty Boy. <laughs> Uh, my shirt's off too. I'm sorry, or I want to see your your Lusty's S Grant beard right now. I'm too shy. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I, they don't let me. They don't let me turn the camera on for good reason. <laughs> <laughs> here, in, here in the Bush household. You got Secret Service there like, no, no, stop it. <laughs> but I want to. Gotta stop masturbating first before you turn that camera on. I'll text, I'll Snapchat you. <laughs> you on You'll Snapchat? Be a, uh, <laughs> big fan of chat Ooh. roulette, Mr. President? Somebody's oh, gonna yeah. kill the president with that cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's very old and frail. Is that the Andrew up there? That's right. What's up? It's, it's been a while. Got uh yeah. it's been a long while, hasn't it? Yeah. I didn't even know you were still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say I'm not. <laughs> We just, we've told people, yeah, we've come up with different ways that you died. Now we just give a different excuse every time when someone asks. My grave got struck by lightning. It was kind of a Jason scenario. Yeah. Dog pissed yeah. on you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had sex with that little boy. What's his name? Corey Feldman. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> 
But we don't need that to know that much. Right? Oh, yeah. well, that's where it gets juicy. <laughs> Literally. He told me uh, he was of age. I didn't. I don't know what to say. <laughs> What's up, Jamie? What's up, James? Hello, Jamie. Jamie, I love your straight up cover. <laughs> Is that the what the Paul Abdul song? Yes. I'm not familiar with oh, the original cool. song. I'm not going to lie. Cool. Paul Abdul. A <clears throat> L- little bit before my time. I remember the music video though. Didn't she get in trouble for like banging some contestant on that singing show? I she heard that. just did a bunch of pills or something. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't know she. Oh, uh, I think she was fucking around with someone on there. Actually, really? yeah, like helping him win or. or I... I don't know. Maybe it's my memory playing tricks. Oh, helping him win. Damn, oh, damn. Wow. Don't be talking about us, okay? In that contest we just had. <laughs> Fails out of school. Over here. <laughs> Them dick pics was just between me and you. Come on, man. There we go. There it's we gonna go. Be a no for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, don't like make me know. expose you tonight either. Come on. <laughs> you know you got them too. <laughs> I've actually never sent a dick pic, I don't think. I it was kind of like, wasn't a thing. Like, I had like a flip phone when I got uh, married. Yeah, you've been married a while, I was yeah. going to say. I think everybody's probably but sent to. As pic. we've learned recently, being married does not mean you can't send dick pics to other women. That's, That's right. <laughs> your, your voice changed quite a bit, Mr. President. I'm trying something new. <laughs> 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 oh, MJ, what's up, man? There we go. Hey, MJ. Nice to oh, see you, man. Hey, MJ. Sounds like the dude uh, in them like gangland documentaries that like oh. are out in the gang. Oh, right, right. They're in the black. They're like, <laughs> hey, can you give me a? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the New Orleans Crips. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Now he's the. Uh... <sighs> Kool Aid guy. <laughs> that song from uh, Bright Lights, Big City. Is that the one that's in, or whatever the Michael J. Fox movie? And I know it's been in a bunch of movies, but Ferris Bueller, man. Oh, Ferris Bueller. Yeah. 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 Bum, bum. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You shoved the diamond of Hayden's ass in a week, you would have that shit. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's not that. It's not the the shitty one. That's why I put the the year on the description of the video. And that movie sucks, the the 2000s Unborn movie. Oh, yeah, Gary Oldman was in that, too. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's really doing some crap now, huh? Uh, I th- I think he's so established. It's like, ah, get your money, whatever. You know, yesterday when we were talking about Scout Taylor Compton, I went back and was looking at her, her like filmography lately. She's doing lots of movies, and they all are like they're getting like two stars on, on IMDb. <laughs> that one, uh, the last one that I just watched with her was at night with the long night. It wasn't bad. I didn't think I liked it. Yeah, that. Yeah, I heard people say good things about that one. I didn't think it was that bad. <clears throat> it's okay. She's pretty much straight to VOD these days, isn't she? Yeah, I think she always has been since yeah, Halloween. So. She kind of got screwed in that. Um, which, what was it? The Runaways. She's Lita yeah. Ford, and she's hardly in the fucking movie. Like that makes mm-hmm. sense, right? <laughs> it's all like Pat Pat Benatar, right? They really kind of focus on her. Yeah. More than like Slita fucking Ford, the most probably well known member out of that whole yeah. shit. I used to meet her all the time at Chiller. They'd always book her as a musical guest. Mm. Yeah, Jamie, I don't know how the hell they do it, but they, they catch covers now. I don't know how they do it. Like I, I think you, you would think it would be different enough that it wouldn't, you know, hit the whatever program they use to search for shit. All the ones I've done have been caught. You know, whenever I play, you know, some of Christian stuff, it gets hit. But I don't really give a shit. Yeah. I don't monetize my shit anyway. So, so 
We're talking about the free agents in uh, the NBA right now. What, what is that noise? Now selecting for the Charlotte. <laughs> that was the Hornets. Charlotte Hornets now. Yes, sir. We're the fucking Bobcats, and goddamn, the Hornets have been all over the place. Weren't they in Charlotte before they came to New Orleans? They were never. What happened was New Orleans changed their name to the Pelicans. Yeah, new, the New Orleans Pelicans are the original Hornets. Yes. Okay. The Hornets now were the Bobcats. Yes. Yeah. You know what's even more fucked up is the Colts. Like, how they moved around. Baltimore. Because they were. What were they originally, Corey? Uh, Baltimore. And, yeah, but... Uh, before they weren't called the Colts at first, I don't think. They were like the uh, ah fuck it. It doesn't matter. It's it's all confusing as hell to me. Before my well, time too. Well the, the thing about I guess about Baltimore is the Ravens are the old Browns. And now the Browns are a whole new team. So that's just a completely new team? Yeah. Yeah. That shit don't matter anyway, because that was before it even fucking mattered. Wow. Well, yeah. Browns <laughs> suck. Yeah. Browns always suck. He'll continue to suck. Sean Watson ain't ever going to get to play a game because he can't <laughs> keep his fucking dick in his pants and raping everybody. <laughs> that seems to be a problem. Like, let me go get this massage and uh, you want to massage this dick to my girl? Yeah, I ain't getting everything, <laughs> oh, but I'm going to ask guy. you one more favor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's fucking reach down there. Barbara's going to come. <laughs> what are you... Whale watching or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, like, uh, some of my old videos, like, I got permission from the artist. They're like, oh, yeah, man, you can use my song. And, like, I don't know if they sold it or whatever, but it's gotten it for copy right now. I think you can still fight those. I'm sure you can, but I mean, like, like literally, the dude singing the music is like a friend of mine, and I'm still getting copyrights. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Damn. Probably sold it. It's like just an automated thing. Right, right, right. That's probably the reason why the Thunder got there, man. Yeah, I think they were pretty popular while they were there. So. <sighs> Yep, I saw the uh, Hornets play in New Orleans. It's the only NBA game I've been to so far. I plan on going to see more. I'm not going to a Pelicans game. That fucking team sucks. No, that the whole franchise is a fucking joke. Zion Williams fucking plays one season and he's fat as fuck, <laughs> and then they give him a fucking max contract. Like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, uh, Darren, it's it's on Vimeo. Let me post you the link here. We haven't started yet. You guys, uh, you guys want to go ahead and get it queued up? Everyone in the in the chat, get it queued up. Sorry, I have a bad habit of going way long before we start the fucking movie. That's kind of what I do over there. That's cool. Uh-huh. Almost time for bed. Fuck. It's time for bed. Come on, what? Hey, man. <laughs> I get tired easy. Yeah. President Bush used to bust those cheeks, that's for sure. <laughs> I stole a bunch of these grape Tootsie Rolls. Have you guys ever had these? Mm-mm. I waited till the Planet Fitness person wasn't looking, and I just, like, <laughs> dumped the... Are you going to Planet it. Fitness? That's where you're going? Nope. Yeah, I checked it out today. Did you do pizza yeah. yet? That's the best time to go. <laughs> that's always the weirdest food. thing, like... Let's get motivated, and here's some pizza, you fat bastard. You just need to go hit the luck alarm. Like Jay, the, whatever do you, the... Jay, do you have the video? <laughs> Which one? Hang on. Oh, no, I don't think about Planet Fitness. No, I don't hear. Now, you just... It's not a copyright strike, I don't believe. Um, I've gotten that, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I have one. I get strikes for other stuff. Hands being blown off, mostly. <laughs> Is that still chocolate flavor? No, it's grape. 
They're it's just great. Okay. <laughs> They're awesome. I think I've had that before. Just, just go here. steal them from Planet Fitness. It's easy. You know, hey, Jay, put it in the chat. Okay. See, the thing that sucks about Planet Fitness is, uh, you know, they used to be 24 hours, and that's my big thing with gyms is I like to go when nobody else is there. Yeah. You know, very few people are there, so I don't have to like, worry about sitting in line for a piece of equipment or whatever. Are still and they are. since COVID, they're they're you know they've got a set time. They're not open at night. So. That sucks, man. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, at like three a.m., you could get away with having one person there just to watch the place, and that you're good. I used yeah. to always go at like three in the morning. That was always the best time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I go to any time fitness. There's no one there. I mean, no, no, you know, employees. I go rub my balls on all the. <laughs> Vandalism. It's not destroying the machines. I mean, you man, this treadmill is sweaty. It's here for you, Orc. He dips them in Old Spice first, though, so he's not inconsiderate. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> now, so that means they just smell like sweaty old man balls, huh? Yeah. This is going to be Dan at Planet Fitness. <laughs> <laughs> is he eating pizza? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's pretty counterproductive to me. I don't know. <laughs> He's worked up at least two calories there. That's hilarious. I'll tell you, always get behind. <laughs> Always get behind a cute girl and run on the treadmill next to like a really frail old man and you'll look good. Unless the old fuck is actually good. That's happened before. Because then you have to keep up with them. There was this uh, this homeless old man who used to... Uh, I used to go to this MMA gym. I, I never did MMA, but I just worked out there. And he, he would always like give me like workout advice and he was like then is dude i don't need your help on form like go to your fucking van parked outside and go take a nap <laughs> <laughs> then you just put him in a triangle and watched him pass out <laughs> yeah <laughs> stole his whiskey he always used to wear those not parachute pants, but you remember like the eighties, like the big puffy pants with the they'd they'd clamp hard on your on your uh uh dick? Your your ankle. Oh, okay. <laughs> on your ankle. But and he would always like like just be like running around, like just like running around town. Like you'd always see him like he had a long beard, homeless as fuck, and uh so, That was going through a rough time at that point and yeah. <laughs> You know, He's but... a nice guy, but I mean, come on, man. <laughs> like, I was actually in, in pretty decent shape at that time. So. Yeah, Big T, because you have to, you have to keep up with the old bucks, and sometimes it's hard. I'm rooting for him to like break a hip or fall off the machine, <clears throat> so I don't look too bad. But oh god! All right, you guys ready to get this thing started? Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. Right, let me get it pulled up here. <clears throat> Sorry, I was making sure it's going to work. Okay. All right. We're at all zeros here. Um, the link is on Vimeo. So I'll post that one more time just in case. And, uh, I'm going to count down. When I get to three, you're going to, I mean, count down to three. When I say play, you're going to want to hit play. Jesus. Um, three, two, one, play. There we go. Did you lose? Oh, shit. I lost Jake.
Hey, everybody. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Chip Chapper here. What the fuck are you? I'm a new member of the community and, uh, and whatnot. I work 7-Eleven at night and then Radio Shack during have, the day. Do you have 80,000 subscribers? 81, actually. Awesome. You know, my philosophy is you got to gain weight to lose weight. That's, that's you know what point. I mean? You can't lose it if you've already lost it. I've been bulking for the past two and a half years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to end up just being dying because I'm bulking too much. Yes, yeah, Radio Shack. I've just been gaining Check mass. Check out our Twitter. Brother. We've got great stuff going on. Are you from the past? <laughs> well, I bought the IP. And oh. I'm starting it up again. You sell Betamax? Beta. We, we sell every kind of Max, baby. They sell, they sell Beta Cook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, looking at a well, we were looking at like some ovaries or something. That's nasty. Hope I got the subs on here. I didn't even pay attention. Did I miss Bush? He was here, man. It was uh, it was I've been the original that Bush. Bush for a while. I know what you mean, man. Hunting for strange. Yep. Exactly. Ben's got the idea. So what are you guys up to right right now? When I'm dead. Watching a movie. Oh, you're watching a movie? Yeah. The Unborn from 1991. Oh, that's what my mom calls me. <laughs> Don't mess with Texas. Except I was born Chip anyway. Chopper. Got a problem. Never been to Texas. Going. Don't mess with been Texas. Been to Nebraska. Nebraska's got What's lots of corn. There? Don't mess with those Huskers. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Can't be good. Whoa. Uh, I'm from Michigan. Uh -oh, I'm a logger. If you know what I mean. Wow. I'll cut your log. And that you, is the story of how Al Suspiria was born. Do you lay pipes? Oh, he's a good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Al, Al and Chip the Chipper, we go way back. The faggot of the opera. The faggot of the opera. Tightest asshole you've ever seen. I believe it. What, what kid just laughed at that? <laughs> <laughs> that shit. <Yeah. laughs> There's kids watching this. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. No children. No children are allowed to watch this show. I mean, I've got a couple running around. There's a brunette Lisa Kudrow. Yes. <sighs> Lisa Cooter? Yeah. There's, Lisa uh, Cooter. Kathy Griffin? Lisa Cooter? Lisa Kathy. Cooter. She's good people. Kathy Griffin oh. before a whole lot of plastic surgery. Jake, you ever have to lift up your gut to like, move yourself where you're, when you're sitting in your chair? Me? No, Jake. Oh. What? Do you ever sit on dildos <laughs> inside of your garage? Yeah. Yeah. Lift up my gut? Yeah, you have to lift up your gut to like reposition yourself. I don't have a gut, man. Oh, okay. I was just checking. I like to sit on dildos in my garage. How old are you now, Jake? Thirty-one. 
Damn, you're old as fuck. You're about to be dead, man. <laughs> I hope not. Happy belated birthday, faggot. Thank you, sir. Can I get a real talk one? Real talk. Real talk, homie. Some more twisted peas going down the hatch. Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, that's right. She's a lesbian. I forgot about that. I'm tapped out. I got a Coke Zero. Uh, but, uh, I think I had well, 15 there, sodas today. There goes my boner. James oh. Karen. Oh, my God. James Karen's still alive, isn't he? Yeah. James Karen? Or, no, Kalpa died. Okay. Karen? Yeah, Karen's oh, uh... still holding on, I believe. Clue's still alive too. I don't know how. I don't think he's doing too well, but I think he might have just recently stopped doing cons. I get it. I know I, I went to one uh, maybe 2012, 2013, and he had broken his arm, his like riding arm. Oh, he did pass away. Ghost said I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. Oh, did he? Okay, it must have been fairly recently then. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, Captain Griffin's in there. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, Clue Gulliger was there. So, you know, at least he was there, but he was signing with his left hand. Everyone was complaining because, it, his, you know, obviously it looks like shit. I've got one somewhere. I, I'll see if I can go grab it in a minute. But uh, I was like, fuck it, dude. I mean, dude's old as hell. He's here. I mean, you got to meet him. I mean, super nice guy, you know. Got to meet his son too. You know, he was talking about uh, was it Piranha Two or Double D? He did. John mm-hmm. John did. Yep. And uh, Feast, of course. Yeah, of course. Feast trilogy. Love Feast. Yeah, man. I mean, Cappy Griffin looks like an entirely different human being. Yeah. In this movie. Even before her sitcom stuff, I mean, that which is only like a few years later, she just looks different. Was it Suddenly Susan she was on? Uh, she was in that, um, which I never really watched. I thought she was on one other thing back then. She had a recurring on uh, Seinfeld. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which, that was kind of like, kind of based in true you know the truth uh mm-hmm. i think the second yeah. time that she was on like when she was like doing stand up like ah jerry said this and he's a son of a bitch you know whatever yeah. color, <laughs> yeah. stick was. nowadays she looks like hayden with the wasting disease <laughs> no news radio was a different yeah. redhead Maybe she was on that too. I'm trying to remember. No, it, I mean, the if you're talking about the receptionist or the you know the secretary, the news radio. Those were two sitcoms I never really watched, but it's a, it's know. a good one. It, it holds up to Andy Dick when he was actually pretty funny on that show. I, so was that I, Dick? Yeah. Andy Dick, but you might have to <laughs> fight Jess Graham. You might have to fight off Al Suspiria for that one. Is, is Jess uh Jess wants to wants to kiss Andy Dick? Keeping his options open, you know, he might want to oh. go back to Hollywood and okay. Okay. do some uh live streaming. Yeah, I've, I, he's been doing a lot of live streaming lately, Andy Dick. He's, he's kinda off the wall. Find it hard to believe he's still sober, honestly. I doubt it. There's this guy who's this he flips houses and I think he owns a car dealership in California. And he's basically giving Andy Dick like three hundred dollars a day for like alcohol and like basically hard liquor and then food <laughs> just to live. I hear Andy Dick now sprays water on Kathy. She's this live streamer. Can't get out of her chair, so kind of keeps her lubed up. That's his new gig. <laughs> Tell you what, though. She found that uh, Petito girl. She did. She found her from the chair, believe it or not. <laughs> she was sitting on her. 
Just up her ass. <laughs> Found her in the couch cushions. Barney Dave Foley, yeah, he's a big. He was on uh, Rogan's podcast a couple years ago. Talks a lot about aliens. Did you guys watch the new season of Kids in the Hall on Prime? No, not yet. I mean, if you're a fan of the the show, you, you you'd love it. Yeah. Yeah, and Vicky Lewis was much more attractive than, than Kathy Griffin has ever been. Has ever been. The thing about redheads, super hot, but sometimes, like they turn into like Ronald McDonald warped in a microwave. You just never know. You pull up a picture of uh, just so you guys can see what she looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> I can't find a good one. There is no good one, Jay. <laughs> there definitely is not. No, you're not banned in the chat, Billy. But you're, I'm seeing you. Yeah, we see you, Billy. I do. Yeah. yeah. There, there was somebody asking about that the other day. I think it's like a weird um, YouTube thing because somebody that definitely wasn't banned, but they weren't able to comment. I've seen weird stuff like that before. I've had yeah. people that, that I've never blocked before or whatever, you know, uh, yeah, blocked, I guess would be the word. Yeah. That, that they, they somehow get blocked. Yeah, like I think we've only about blocked like two people ever. So nobody's blocked. Is that a wiener coming out coming out of that woman's chin on her shirt? <laughs> it's what it appears. Hmm. Artistic license, I like it. And I can see you. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I mean we we see we see you, Billy. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Sometimes they will automatically not allow a comment if it's like. <clears throat> I've noticed if you say certain words. Yeah, I'm seeing everything, I think, Billy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, man. Sometimes you have to be creative and, I don't know, just use a different word to get your point across. Yeah. Okay, so they seem to be seeing you, man. Sometimes you just got to pork a lady in a rocking chair. You need a timestamp, Chip? Born in the USA. I was born in the USA. Oh, man, I hate that fucking song so much. <laughs> I hate that and uh, Bad to the Bone. If I never hear that song again, I'll be mad. <laughs> Bad to the Bone sucks. Like, I've heard it so many fucking times in movies and TV shows. You're just good now. It must cost like three cents to license that fucking song. <laughs> Bad. Bad. Uh, yeah. Can I get a Tom stamp? Yeah. I'm at uh, 1430. 1430. You know a song that I got tired of? I When I go to my local strip club in West Virginia, there was a dancer <laughs> that I really liked. And she'd always do private dances to Chandelier by Sia, which is the weirdest song to get a lap dance to because it's kind of depressing. If you listen to the lyrics and know what it means, but... Yeah, I, have my... I wanna fall on the chandelier. <laughs> it's just 
it just doesn't fit with like a girl's crotch in your face. It's little, you know, play like cherry pie. Doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> and our cooters all over you. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. And now I associate that song with like boobs. I'm not even familiar with that song. <laughs> you you it, might know it if you heard it. I probably yeah, would. Yeah. That got a lot of play. That was a big hit. I know the steak was telling me it was always like, uh, like Pitbull and shit like that. They'd be like, da 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 coolo. It's weird because in the late 90s and early and mid 2000s, it was like anything that was big on the radio, everybody knew about it because that's all you had. Yeah. And there wasn't satellite radio and all that shit yet. But now it's like there'll be big hits that come out. And they came out like 10 years ago. And I have no idea that they even fucking came out. Yeah. God damn. That's not how they do that, I don't think. Oh, they're taking amniotic fluid. I got you. Thought they were doing like an insemination type thing. Ah. They ah. usually use their dick for that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. She'd like sit on your shoulders, like spin around and then like just kind of like slide down your stomach. It's the weirdest thing to have that happening to chandelier. Uh-huh. Was this a bottomless club? Just top. Fully nude. So Fully nude. She was, yeah, slip and slide down that. Slip down and that. slide right down you. Yeah. I'm kind of intrigued now. I have some more questions for you later. You're muted, Orc, but I see you singing something. <laughs> I'm on like two different discords and I'm singing so much of people. <laughs> like I was doing that Milky Way song, but tell me, do, 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 do Milky Way. <laughs> That'd be weirder than Chandelier. <laughs> I'm on the spectrum in a lot of different places tonight. Put it that way. She's a bitch. She's a lover. She's I've had that one too. She's a mother. She's a whore. She's a mother. She's a sinner. Oh, She's a oh, saint. Oh, look at my pussy hole. Yeah. <laughs> there was one like move where they're, you know, she'd like hook your head with her feet and like just start like pulling you into her ass cheeks. And it, having that to like chandelier, I mean. It just it kills the mood. I can imagine. But tell me. <laughs> she only dances to Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you to say sorry. Was waiting on a different <laughs> story. And I was mistaken. Full game of new I was bacon. And I've been down. I've been down. And every that's just where you take her panties and just stick them in your ears <laughs> and continue. <laughs> Canadians well, are sorry. Throw them away. You have to like, I mean, that's not drugs. Just put them in the fucking garbage. Yeah. <laughs> See, J streams are the best because you get karaoke night and you get a movie. Yeah, I take requests if I know it. I don't know every song, but I know a fair amount. <laughs> it is also one eleven in the morning, and I kind of respect my neighbor and my mom. I feel you, brother. I feel you. I didn't mess with that song. I'm Man. a Canadian. Can you imagine looking up at Cappy Griffin do it on top of you like that? <laughs> oh, wow. Look, it's her. That is her. The Unborn. <laughs> Uh, 
What is this, Lamaz or some shit? <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is. I think it's uh, DDP yoga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother, you're going to take that baby and slide it over to the left. and you're... <laughs> Let's do some jump squats, brother. Mm-hmm. I'm through standing in line of clubs I never get in It's like the bottom of the night And I'm never gonna win Is that more Nickelback? Yeah, Rockstar Oh, I just wanna be a big rock star so never, never. No Eventually all their <laughs> songs just turn sexual They're all like I like your pants around your feet. <laughs> and then we're fucking the back of my Chevy. Yeah. I saw uh, I saw Nickelback, Saliva, and uh, <laughs> and I think the other band was actually decent. But man, I mean, I was really drunk. But they were <laughs> those two were pretty bad. <laughs> this was like in two thousand. So. <laughs> There had to you had to get into some uh, yeah. kind of a fight at that show. Yeah, they they came to my college and played. So it was oh, free. Big T, you want to hear some Creed? That's like my specialty, man. There <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> <Here> we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some water. Get ready. All right. I think Big T knows your mo here. Home and now. I'm six feet from the edge, and I'm thinking maybe six feet. It's so far down. Hold me now. I can't tell the difference. I'm six feet from the edge, and I'm thinking. (laughs) It's just the same thing over and over again. (laughs) I actually like (laughs) Reed. Of all those shitty bands from back then, you know, I, I don't like. Uh, oh, come on, mom up and probably my neighbor. Nickelback. Can you, you take me higher? To a place. Yeah, I have like a really good memory of Creed when they were using some of their songs for those uh, WWE like music video things they were doing. Yeah. Those were awesome. I know. I remember hearing about his good songs on like Madden. Yeah, their first yeah. three albums like won every fucking award and were in every movie. That's where I found out about uh, Seether was was on Madden. Is that protein powder and orange juice? What the fuck are you doing here? It's a. It's not even odd. stirred up very well. I would do hinder, but I woke up everybody. Uh, they have Get Stone, though. That's a really good song. It's as bad as Brian Bosworth and Stone Cold. Oh, Stone Cold is awesome. Filmed in Mississippi, brother. Lance Henriksen had to like just wing all of his dialogue in that. <laughs> He's great. Was he the bad guy? Like the main bad guy? Yeah. I love Lance Henriksen. Where is he from? He's probably from like West Virginia or somewhere, right? Uh, Creed? No, Lance Henriksen. Oh, Lance Henriksen. Um, he might be from your neck of the woods. I'm not sure. Maybe so. I know, like he couldn't read, like when he was first started acting. Like he had to learn to read to like read scripts and stuff. So you got to bring up this con comment from bit. Yeah, there you go. It's an interesting uh, kink. Let's see what video. Probably video. seeing if it'll stick. I'm sure it does. Let me bring up a video. Of, I'm uh, back, Scott baby. Stapp. Wikipedia says he's born in Manhattan. Oh, really? Really? That's weird. But he was like in foster care and shit. That's so strange. He never learned how to read. I don't know how to read. Well, he he left school after completing first grade, and he was illiterate until the age of thirty. So, Damn. Nice. Didn't stop you from climbing the ladder at Radio Shack, though, dude. 
Hell no. Can you take Jake? I, I'm going to be honest, Orc. Yeah. I, I can't look away. You just like don't it? have the room, guys. I your used your to have shirtless the body is enticing me in. I used to have the delts, but they've gone down majorly in size. Yeah. And they look fine to me, baby. Delts is like one of my strongest muscles. Let me see. His shoulder shrug like 500 pounds. Shrugs and then knees too, that. where you go like this in front. Oh, yeah. yeah. And like mm -hmm. the uh, mm. upright rows. Si sideways mm. too. Yeah. That's yeah. that's like mids and fronts, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. awesome. All shoulders, baby. Those suck too. Those fucking. I can hurt. see. You get those oh. burning. Yep. See, I got it. If you want to show us, Jay, uh, that's all right with me and Al. I'll pop my top off in a bit. Al's sitting next to me right now, actually. I'll show my, as Christian Hannah Horror puts it, my prison tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave. I see Dave out there. Yeah, I What's think he does, name? like, meth now in uh, local alleyways, I believe. Who, Dave? No, Creed, the Creed singer. Oh. I'm going to go, uh, I'll be right back and I'm going to play this video of Scott's death. You better come back with our shirt on. Go see them deals. It's a good movie. So yeah, Dan, uh, Al Suspiria moved in with me because his bitch of a grandma died. <laughs> He's living in my basement. <laughs> yeah, you might want to do your research. basement. <laughs> I mean, I don't know anything about the guy, but. He can't waddle it in. Seems all right. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the side of the road in Philadelphia. Uh, he said he, well, he said he blew me for five bucks in a in a sandwich, and well, I took him up on the offer, and then <laughs> now he now he lives with me. And it was it was him by a security jacket. In that tight butthole. <laughs> the security well, jacket, asshole. Anymore, though. <laughs> oh, he's got a nice security jacket. Wait, is Kathy Griffin dead yet? Uh, I don't know she just died. God damn it. Did I miss it? <laughs> I believe you did. If, uh, our guest was talking uh, buttholes. I would imagine people had pregnancy fetishes before then. Just guessing. Not my thing at all, but, you know. I definitely don't have that fetish. If I got the opportunity. <laughs> it's more of a Mormon thing, isn't it? Like, I, I know you've got one tea. in you, but I'm going to put another one in there. Wow. I would be T, but it's too late, unfortunately. Damn. Real adults own their own house and they have a basement or a man cave and a trophy wife. No, Dave, I'm not going to pick that up on 4K. I'm I'm good. I don't hate the movie. I just don't need it on 4K. Which one? I know what you did last summer. Oh, no. I'm, I'm getting that shit on 4K. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'll buy it. It's a good movie. I like it. I'm not talking How shit much about is it. Like I, don't, I don't particularly like it. But. I don't think it's up yet, the pre-order on it. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked. What's not to love? Oh. Al says he likes it. 
He's got the Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> He's got lots of movies on his phone. <laughs> lots of Blu-rays on his phone. The LRB. Phone. <laughs> Remix. Blu-ray? I also fear you. There we go. I can't look down and watch shit on my phone or a tablet all the time. It fucks with my eyes. I, 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 don't under, I don't understand anybody watching a movie on their phone. Like going going like this and looking <laughs> down. It's, yeah. it's just like... You got bent over. <laughs> Only for you, Chip, you big boy. You gotta... Yeah. <laughs> you filthy slut, yeah. What do you think about that? <laughs> Fucking dirty whore. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some wood chips, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, here you go. I'll, I'll chip your wood. Well, thank you. This is uh, Bobby from Sopranos, by the way. Oh, hell yeah. Bobby Bacala. That's right. Man, thanks for joining us. Hey, you know, Ben, how are you, man? Good to see you. We met. (laughs) We kissed. You know, like, the deal was, man, is it was like, you know, I I felt like people needed to, you know, like, know what was up. You know, wisdom. Did you write all the songs on Creed? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And so that's where I make more money than Howard. Yeah, check. Check, check that. <laughs> yeah, I live in Florida. You like it down I don't here? like Miami. What about Miami Vegas? Vegas? You like Vegas? Uh, Freaking yeah. count off. Yeah, you know, I tried. You have all the groupies, all the groupies you want, huh? Don't you just like do whatever you want? Do you have like five of them after the show? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, yeah, I have like five of them. Do you have a guy like going in the audience picking them out? Like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have like five of them in the audience I'm picking done. them out. So you, do you have a guy bird dogging and then you go take them under the stage? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, bird dogging. Yeah, Molly crew. Oh, oh you're f- You are f- yeah, yeah. You started um, crap. And now, how come the, now the name, you just gave him the name. You said, hey, take it. Take yeah. it, you losers. Take it. The queen is Scott Stapp, man. That's it. right. That's what I said. I said, you know what? You want to try my ass? I said, Scott Stapp is are they right. Are they bitter, the rest of the band? I'm out. They're bitter. <laughs> are your ex boyfriends so, bitter? No. I'm friends. I'm friendly. Oh, fold in good hands. I want to hear it. Yes, yeah, dude. I'm back to the next kickboxer right here on Spike TV. Up, he said that uh, Dave Bro got a little. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> bro, for the good Dave, Dave Bro, you got a little. That's the thing about being a lead singer. Dave being Girl a center of attention. Suck his cock. Did she hear suck his cock? Image in the dust. Um, probably the both. God has called me no, no, no. to say the things about the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like he called me to bring the plate of God into the house of the Lord. You're gonna have you know me drinking. This is up my That's what God called me to it's, say. You know, my son thinks babies come from my sack. And so <laughs> I just have to continue on with that theme that son, my baby. What the hell is this? You too. You too. This is legendary. You too. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm at this bottom. is the end of a career. And yep. Bono was a nice. Bono was a so she's still just talking. And you know, I really didn't apologize for on me. television. You know, only because I'm a lead singer and like I understand the pressures of like what goes on. I can forgive Bono and, and love him. Why are you huh? Yeah. <laughs> What the hell? Hey, register yourself online for take the freaking 100 or I'll f***ing bust your ass. Let's play another hand. So you play the Blasio in Vegas? God, vampire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Black, yeah blackjack's yeah. your I, game? I, I play a blackjack. I play it right. That's your game, blackjack. That's my game. Let's kick people in the head in 1989. Kiss my so, so let me ask you something. So now you're a big sports fan. No, just the green. 
Oh, you agree? Are they drunk? What are you taking? No, yeah, you you're dead. dead. You're dead. What you don't hell? even he want to freaking lit. try me. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, oh, you freaking we'll worst see. dogs. Oh! Oh! It's oh, that street flush. The vibe. The guy the sold vibe, 50 million CDs. 50, 50 million. million. Thanks for stopping by, man. It's hey, a real pleasure to have they beat the shit out of him after they went to commercial. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous, man? God damn. That was yeah. great. All the... He's just gone now, right? I mean, he's just... I, I think he's missing. Like, they don't yeah. know where he is. He's over here with me now. Is he in the basement? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, baby. He can sing me those lovely songs all night. <laughs> Oh, that's a uh, fall from grace, man. Have you ever had another man lick your taint? I have no. not. I... You want to lick Me my either. chip? Hey, chip, I'll you give it a like shot. Yeah, okay, right. Is it crusty? <laughs> no, nope, it's nice and silky smooth. Ooh. I used the no, lotion on my taint. No hair to compare down there? Yeah, nope, shave that <laughs> shit away. Yep. Oh. It's like a slip and slide. Maybe it's Maybelline, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Okay, this is, yeah, this is a good sign. You wanna, you wanna come over? Sure, let's fuck. Come on over. <laughs> you can catch. I think, I think it's decided. <laughs> me and oh, really got, let's, let's oh. do it. Oh, me and, oh. Me and I will be waiting for you in the garage. Okay. <laughs> Smoke, we'll be smoking cigarettes out back. Just <laughs> look for two lump tomatoes sitting. <laughs> why did she? Why did she fall over? She fell over. She, she stabbed, stabbed her herself in the stomach. Oh no. <laughs> I thought that was uh, Donnie Wahlberg at first. <laughs> he plays Cappy Griffin's lesbian lover. He looked different back then, too. Hey, yo. What the fuck? <laughs> when I was in between gigs on NKOTB over there. <laughs> yo, give me a fucking Stromboli. I love Stromboli. I eat it in my car. <laughs> dun, dun, oh, dun, shit. Dun. <laughs> With the first overall selection in the 2023 draft, the New York Giants. Chip the Ripper, Al Suspiria. Choose some guy from fucking Texas Tech. Bork for Maine. <laughs> Round trip to Philly. All we got big hot dogs. Yeah. Big hot dogs with even bigger penises. Yeah. Big old penises. Penis. Stop, I'll stop. Google, I just want to let you know something that if you take this stream down, I will sue. Because I do have That's a. That's why you got to stream to Twitch, but I think Jay might already be doing that. Yeah, I'm streaming to Twitch, but. Or, what are the. Uh, I know Twitch is kind of particular about shit, too. Is it just music they're, they're a big bitch about? Twitch is worse about. They're way worse on music and copyright. And then there, you can't oh. even say certain things like anything to do, like obviously racial slurs. Um, poo poo vagina. So like Hayden wouldn't would never last on Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, oh damn! And then you can't you oh. can't do anything with like LGBT all that shit. You can't say Who's that Hayden? shit. A person we used to know who we want to stream again. Like, don't oh. like if you're playing music in the background, they'll take your stream down, right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah Is there, there a I've safe place to stream? Oh, 
YouTube is probably your best bet, really. YouTube I mean, is the. YouTube I mean, they, sucks. they're. It's go to uh, Rumble. Like Rumble's <laughs> a good place to stream. Those are the only two, really. And YouTube is way better than Twitch. If you go to BigBear.com or Bear Hunter X, mm -hmm. there's some uh, some great stuff. Great live streams. You YouTube, like, pre-2020, you could say whatever the fuck you wanted. That's when people would do IRL streams and say everything mm -hmm. racist and against sexist and, and anything against gay or lesbian people, and no one would care and your channel wouldn't get banned. Um, but now that kind of all changed. Now you can't even type funny shit in the chat. Yeah. Your messages just really? don't even show up. Yeah. I found out that the hard way on the Off the Grill podcast. What are you not supposed to say? Everything. Anything offensive. You can type, like, fuck and put, like, uh, letters and numbers and spaces and underscores and, like, they'll, they'll still won't let you type What? Yep. On YouTube or Twitch? YouTube. Damn. Go, go into the chat of the stream you're watching right now and just type in, like, fuck or shit or, like, uh, anything like that. Cunt. Uh -uh. That seems kind of stupid. As long as this shit's marked for, you know, over 18, so. Words hurt my feelings. This comment went through. Mm -hmm. I think you're on a list. <laughs> well, maybe Dan is a, maybe Dan is a mod, mod or, though too. Or, or yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Well, I've never had a YouTube channel. But I've been thinking about it. You should stream, Chip. I want to see a, a room tour video. Yeah. Without, uh, Al. without Suspiria. Oh, without him? Hide him in the closet for a little bit. He'll be my security. I'd say there was a similar episode to this on the X Files, like one of the, not a, a story episode, you know, one of the one off like monster episodes. Those are the best ones. That's my favorites, yeah, but by, by far. Is the X-Files any good? It's one yeah, of my favorite good. shows of all time. Fantastic. What about the movies? No. Mm -hmm. Well, the first first one's okay. Second one's not good. Well, Chris Carter originally wanted to, the movie to be the end of it, but they, I guess, threw enough money his way and they kept it going. And you could totally tell. That was around when Millennium came out with, yeah. uh, again, Lance Henderson. Mm -hmm. Millennium. Another Great Fantastic, show. yeah. Well, Big T, I think Hayden's been streaming, but he's on Twitch exclusively. Under Golden Picasso, I believe. I'm not positive. Well, Dave, we're doing a commentary right now. I'm probably not doing a very good job of it, but... Uh... <laughs> we talked a little bit about it. We're... Yeah, on and off. About forty-five. Uh, a pussy just, minutes. pussy just got smashed. Been talking about chandeliers, horror, everything. Mm-hmm. Big gay Ben. Everything. Yeah, I'm officially coming out as gay. I'm going to come out as hairy as fuck. Yeah. I think you're the only person who's hairier than me, Hayden. You're like a troll. Damn, I'm you look like that, that dude from the Masters of the Universe movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I was Hayden this whole time? Hayden it would be, wild. but you're not. Blow my mind. Hayden would show his face and he'd be naked. 
Did she kill the cat exactly. on purpose? I'll show my camera. Hello. Do you see me? No. Hey, Hayden, we see you. Hey, Chipper. No, it's, it's Chip. Oh, man. Tell me, those hormones will get you. She's going to throw him into a ceiling fan in a minute. <laughs> Good thing she doesn't have a baby right now. She'd put that fucker in the microwave. <laughs> from the chandelier. Well, that's what's swinging from it. <laughs> like my pussy doesn't exist. <laughs> You're just sitting there like. It's uh, the unborn from 1991. The unborn from 2006 with a hot chick. Brunette. Uh, that one's not good. Oh no. It's got a dog's head that has three heads <laughs> and upside down. <laughs> that comment. That sucks, Billy. Make it an Arby's night, brother. Get you some horsey sauce. Go to town on that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a good one. I've got that pre ordered. It sucks. I just got the DVD literally like a week ago. We willed that into existence, I think, yeah. on stream. Oh my God. No, don't touch me there. Like Stop. tomorrow doesn't exist. No. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Da, 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 da. I need some more math. We have a beef. Yeah. We have the meats. Oh, look, Dan, your smoke detector has joined the chat. <laughs> oh, this live stream. Oh, yeah. I, I'd go smash it, but I guarantee you it'll end up just doing oh, that same no. shit as last time. Oh, my God. I was, I was trying to uh, trying to clip this uh, scene in the the new season of the boys. This guy beats the shit out of his smoke detector, and I was like, "We just got footage of Corey over here." <laughs> but it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me, uh, you know, record the footage. Stupid Amazon. Of course, it was like three thirty or four in the morning when it went batshit. So I had to get out of fucking bed and deal with it. That's the time I would fucking destroy that thing. <laughs> what would you do if you walked in on this? Like, I'd just walk right back out. I'd do like, you know, when Homer walks into Moe's and just turns right back around and goes back out. I'd pull one of those. And he puts his hat on. Yeah, yeah. that's funny as fuck. Do, 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 do. Whoop. <laughs> Turns right back around. I love it. Hey, did Drew or anyone else pick up the Blu-ray of Murder in a Blue World? Say that again? I don't think I've heard of that. It was on Diabolic DVD. I think they put it out. It's uh, a movie that was inspired by uh, Clockwork Orange. That's very weird. <laughs> but very interesting. Hey, Drew, I love you, buddy. <laughs> I love you too, Ark. Real uh, talk. Real Dude, talk. Never that heard of it? Lot. No, I haven't heard of it. Um, is it older, newer? It's, uh, let me see, pull it up. I didn't know anything about it either until I was watching this documentary on a clockwork orange and they were talking about it and then Diabolic DVD like the next week <laughs> released it on Blu-ray. Um, let's see. 
Sue Lyon is in it. Or Leon, or whatever her name is. I can't tell if you're fucking around or not. I feel like you probably are. No, I'm not. Look it up. Here, I'll pull it up. I haven't even watched it yet. It just looks weird. I just got it. Is it as good as Lot? Murder in a Blue World. Well, that's just silly. Oh, you're not fucking around. Watch the trailer. It's really. Is there weird like a lo bunch of dicks in it or something, and you, that's why you want him to play it? <laughs> Maybe. No, but no one talked about it. It was. I don't know. I thought it'd be a big release, and then nobody even. I don't know. I don't think I saw a single like review. Posted for it. So who knows? Maybe it's a horrible movie. I don't know. But it looks weird. It's almost like a copy of. It's like an Italian copy of A Clockwork Orange almost. Hmm. Oh god. I don't even know why I brought it up. I just wondered if anyone else had heard about it. So. Well, let me know if it's good. Um, it sounds interesting. I love a club. I will. Porn. I'm a big Sue Lion fan, so I watch Today's show got Today. it. Yeah. Hoda and Kathy, Griff uh, Kathy Lee wouldn't know what to do with that. <laughs> They'd be sipping on Chardonnay like, God damn! <laughs> Those two need to host like a Jerry Springer type show. I just want to see them dealing with like cousins that are like cheating on each other. Oh, and it was by Cauldron Films. I bought it on Diabolic DVD. I don't know, does Diabolic DVD release movies or do they just sell them? I think no, that Cauldron label is yeah. Diabolic DVD's label, right? It's like newish. Oh, yeah. I, th I think you're right. I found a DVD on that. That would make a lot of sense. You must buy the Blu ray. I don't know. I'll let you guys know if it's good. I might watch it tomorrow. <laughs> what else have you picked up recently? What have you watched recently? Oh, I'm glad you asked, know. Dan. Besides La uh, uh, The black, black iPhone movie. Big black iPhone. <laughs> Could have gotten out of that situation a little easier with an iPhone. <laughs> um, I haven't really watched much. This is the woman that stabbed herself, right? Yes. Oh, shit. I, I rewatched Lot Pissing last week. Crimes of the Future was horrible. You didn't like Crimes of the Future? I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on that one. I still haven't watched it. I don't know. Apparently, I'm in the minority. Well, not but, necessarily. It's not for everyone. I mean, from what I hear is it wasn't terrible, but it's definitely not like as good as a lot of David Cronenberg's other stuff. Is any of Cronenberg's stuff yeah. really that good, though? Yes, All it is. of it. Mm. No, he's my favorite director. Mm. He's the master. Mm. <laughs> when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. 
What's your favorite Cronenberg movie? Hayden or Chip or whoever you are. Oh, I'm Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Crimes of um, Videodrome, probably. Nice. But I haven't seen The Brood. I heard that's really good. And I haven't seen Crash either. Oh, see Crash. Is that still on Criterion? Yep. They're having a sale right now, too. 50% off Barnes & Noble. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I picked that one up a few months ago. You probably like uh, Criterion Chip. There's a guy I used to know had a YouTube channel called the Cornelius Collection. It's a rip off the Criterion Collection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did have a Sounds legit five star classic, the Pumpkin Pie Stream. <laughs> that is true. That's getting a 4K yeah. this summer. Oh, yeah. It's a bug spray on her. Oh, shit. Here we go. What the fuck? Goodbye, Kathy. She'll be all right. (laughs) By the way, does anyone know where to get Goodfellas on 4K? I don't think it's on 4K. Uh, Yeah, Amazon. It is, but it's hard to get for for a good price. Well, I hope it's, it's like a better transfer than the, everywhere. I hope it's a better transfer than the Blu-ray release because the Blu-ray is not great. That's what I've got. Yeah, and it's like one of the best fucking movies of all time, or gangster movies, yeah. I guess. Street Violence is good. It is a good one. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I'm gonna say Dead Ringers is my favorite Cronenberg. I just uh, like I like Video Drone. I like Scanners. You like to fly? I do. It's okay, but like, oh man, that movie's like, fucking sh- perfect. It's a perfect. I hate perfect Shivers. Movie. I fucking hate Shivers. No. Oh, shit. I They're fucking all- hate Shivers. They're um, all great. I don't know. He's fine, I guess. Oh, hmm. that's you're gonna say like the sucks. Leprechaun movies are better, right? Oh fuck yeah, by like a mile, dude. Come on now. No, what are we talking? What are, what are we even talking about? You are wrong. No. <laughs> nope. You offended him. Oh, yeah, I offended him. I'm, I am sorry. That's no, all good. I like some of it. I like some of his stuff. I'm, but I, he's no like David Lynch. David Lynch fucking blows. Hey, ah. uh, nothing he done is good. Twin we Peaks just lost can, half our viewers. No, I'm sorry. But Twin Peaks <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> um, I agree with fucking Jake, man. Twin Peaks is gay as fuck. Like, let, let's watch this fucking show about this bitch in a log. And all this shit that's gonna fucking. <laughs> All this shit the only good thing happen. David Lynch has ever fucking done is Mulholland Drive. That's fuck it. that movie too. He ain't done no, nothing. No, there's good. lesbians in it. Come on, no, 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 no. David Lynch sucks. It is a good lesbian scene. <laughs> yeah, it is. Fucking Lost Highway sucks. It all sucks. Oh. Twin Pikes. Yeah, Twin Peaks definitely sucks. I like Lost Twin Highway. Pikes. That's Pikes, like Mike. Shit. Let Twin me love this show that has no fucking. Ending at all. I mean, keep it going for two years it's and because it sucks so bad, it gets canceled. And then we'll restart it and not do anything good. <laughs> Fuck Dave Lynch. I agree. Clip it. That's all we needed. I don't think he's like as amazing as everyone says. I don't think he at least a lot of people say. But I still like some of his stuff. 
But I don't even think he knows what half his shit means. I think he's just kind of like going with it. I don't think he even knows what. I don't think he knows is. either. I think he just fucking picks up and everybody's like, oh, this is art. This is awesome. No, it's fucking boring. I'd rather watch <laughs> right, fucking paint dry on the wall. I, I feel do. like he, he trolls his fans with some of the shit he does. Like, he did this Netflix movie. I haven't seen it, but it's like a monkey doing some, oh, something. God, I, don't, yeah. I don't know what the hell happened. Inter- interrogated, yeah. Or he gets on on, on his Twitter. Uh, Dave Lynch, ape, I don't know what it is. It's Friday. It's another Friday. Uh, yeah, what the fuck is that shit about? I never I got. I don't understand it. He's just old and he doesn't have nothing else to do. I guess. It's it's weekend, guys. Doing. Tomorrow's Saturday, <laughs> and you know what comes after that? Sunday. Yeah. Back to work on Monday. <laughs> I don't know. It's Making just not more shitty movies. Yeah, you're out. it's not my style at all. I don't. I mean, I really don't see what anybody gets any fucking enjoyment out of anything that he makes because it's not good. <laughs> And I man, love them both. I put Cronenberg above Lynch, but well, man, you've disappointed me here recently, so that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. I mean, there's just people that's better, in my opinion. Is that the I guy from Die Hard? I couldn't even finish Wild at Heart. Looks like the guy from Die Hard that snorts a coke and like rats everybody up. Oh, that guy! That oh, was, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's Professor uh, Knight, Booby. man. Looks like him. It's not him, but he's got that same beard. <laughs> Hans, booby. Where are some other directors that suck? Gunnerberg <laughs> hmm. doesn't suck. Hmm. David Lynch suck. I don't know. I guess that's. I don't know, man. Cronenberg's new movie, he's like, he's sniffing his own farts. It's pretty, I don't know. Cronenberg is definitely better than David Lynch. I will agree with that. I saw uh, someone mentioned Map of the Stars. I think it was Indy Phantom mentioned Maps of the Stars. I like that one. I, I thought it was good. Let yeah. Me see. Let me see. Old you get to see Julianne Moore taking a shit in that one. So. Nice. What I've always wanted to oh. see. <laughs> David Lynch filmography, Racerhead, Don't Give a Fuck, Elephant Man, Don't Give a Fuck, Doom, Fucking Blows, Blue Velvet, Who Cares, All the Heart, Don't Care, Twin Peaks, Firewalk With Me, Anything Twin Peaks, Fucking Sucks, Lost Hallway Sucks, Long Drive Sucks, a Straight Story, I've never seen it, but I bet it sucks. That's a good movie. <laughs> And Inland Empire, I'm sure that fucking sucks. I've heard that. That that one does suck. I will give you that one. (laughs) I made one, two, three, four. Ten movies my whole career, and everybody thinks I'm awesome. He ruined Dune. Spielberg is horrible. No, Spielberg makes... Meh. Early Spielberg. Dude, the post... Yeah, post my noose and let me crawl inside of it so I can hang myself. <laughs> he used to make good stuff. Now he's just an old man. Lynch or what? Fucking James Wan all day. Come on, Ben. David Lynch ain't made a fucking good movie in his life. God. <laughs> <laughs> getting heated over here. Don't even get me started on how you know, fucking David Gordon Green. Fuck that guy too. <laughs> I think he's gone West over the story, gone over the twisted tea limit here. Uh, Ready no. Player One trash. Uh, Ready Player One. The BFG but... trash. Bridge of Spies, garbage. Lincoln, Daniel Day Lewis is good, but that movie's boring as fuck. War Horse, it's horrible. American history. The Adventures of Tin Tin. I'd rather shove a Tin Tin up my ass. Uh, uh, Indiana Jones and the Crystal of the fucking Skull thing. Go to hell. Oh, that, that one's not good. 
Zen, it's Paul W.S. Anderson Music? just because his movies mm. I get to see fucking Mia Djokovic, so that makes it better than a David Lynch movie any day. Wait, no, that's the other one, isn't it? Paul W.S. Anderson, no. That's, that's, Deb- that's not people. the, uh, that's not the, uh, like, uh, There Will Be Blood guy, right? Like Boogie Nights, that's not him? No, this is Resident Evil Thomas. guy. Paul yeah. Thomas, okay. Paul I, Thomas I was Anderson. Guy, so. it, it's, and Paul W. Anderson did Mortal Kombat 95, so he automatically fucking wins. David Lynch wished you could make something like that. He did, uh, <laughs> he did Event Horizon, right? Paul W.S. Anderson? Yes, yes, he did. I love that yep. movie. Yep. I like uh, Event Horizon. I definitely give him that. We're going to get David Lynch in the stream. And his wife's fucking hot, too. Spiel- so that- Let me see all Spielberg you is not... Spielberg has not had a good movie since 2005, War of the Worlds. And even then, mediocre. That movie's not that good. Spielberg, though, ain't had a good movie since then. British Spies was good. I never saw War Horse. I'm sure that's fine. Since BFG was good. 2005? Horrible. I like BFG. BFG is for little kids. It's it is a children's trash. movie, for sure. Um. Oh, no. Fucking yeah, pedo- pedo- pedophile over here. Spielberg is a total pedophile. It, it don't Making matter what Spielberg kids. does. He did fucking Jaws, E.T., Indiana Jones, and motherfucking The Goonies, okay? So Never it don't matter what, what he does. I think the only one you named well, that I like. No. What'd you say it was called? Jaw? J- Jaws? What'd you say, Andrew? The only one I liked is E.T. <laughs> <laughs> like just... Hell Yeah. Me and Andrew are on the same page. Yeah. And that he Wait. didn't even direct Jaws. He just got credit for it. <laughs> yes, he did direct Jaws. What are you smoking? No, it was secretly, uh, what's his name? Dwight Howard? Dwight Howard? Yeah. No, no, Toby Hooper directed yeah. Jaws. Toby Hooper directed yeah. Jaws. Oh, yeah. Dwight Howard directed Jurassic Park. Yeah. Dwight Howard. Yeah, three point shot all the way. David Lynch, uh, Andy <laughs> Fanner says he wants to oh see David God. Lynch do Mortal Kombat. It won't have any of the, any fighting or any of the characters in it. It'll have a log, a lady with a log, and she's petting it and talking to it. She's dead. And then there's like this murder in this town, dead. but nobody knows what happened. <laughs> You know, I just remember I they made a Mortal Kombat movie last year, or the year before. Oh, yeah. yeah. You forgot it. Locked <laughs> out. Yeah, that movie kind of sucked. Can we get some Spielberg hate in the chat? No, Spielberg's fucking good compared to David Lynch. Yeah, Saving Private Rio. Sucks. Fuck yeah. Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Sucks. <laughs> Classic. He really hasn't made that many good movies. Jaws is great. Private Ryan's great. Indiana Jones is the first two. E.T. Jurassic Park. E.T. Dude, Jurassic Park is, I would say, damn near a perfect movie, honestly. Which dress the first one? Yeah. It holds up. Yeah. Yes, it is. I mean, it's just such a rewatchable movie. Like, I watched it again about a year ago, and I was like, God damn, this is a great movie. It's it's It stands the test guys... because it has Wayne Knight in it. <laughs> yeah. Fat, <laughs> fat Wayne Knight. Uh, yeah. And now they got some fat dude from the office running around with some blonde bimbo or whatever. Or redhead bimbo. <laughs> from the office, yeah. That guy from the office, what? He, I don't he, know. He's from some direct. fucking shitty TV show. He's oh, not up to date on his on his movies. Gotcha. Uh, no, uh, you you guys aren't. Just no, me. Jamie. It's just me, and I think you already know how I feel about David Lynch. So it shouldn't come as any surprise to you that I've been dissing David Lynch. It's not even one that you like. Mm, no, no. Duel. It, that's a Ridley Scott movie from last year. Blue Velvet? I'm surprised you don't like Blue Velvet. Why would I like any... Have you watched I'll the David Lynch movie? I'll anything that moves. <laughs> <sighs> I do like that one just for Dennis Hopper. Yeah. 
Heineken. Triple G Fuck that awesome. shit. I'd rather watch a fucking Yui e. Bowl movie than a fucking David Lynch movie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Give me House of the House of the Dead or fucking oh, wow. um, Lost Highway. <laughs> Fuck yeah, House of the Dead. Wow. <laughs> So we got the baby here, guys. <laughs> yeah, because Juan's better. He's made better movies. Is this this is a dream sequence, right? Or is this real? Oops. I don't know, but I'm seeing some breastfeeding going mm -hmm. on. Oh. Hey, that's Miss Delphire, the mom and oh. Miss Delphire, right? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, you mean Robin Williams? Yeah, it is. Right? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Sally Field. Sally Field. <laughs> yes, it is. Sally I Field. It's Robin Williams. Sally Field's not getting her titty sucked by an animatron an animatronic oh, oh, baby. Baby. In a Roger Corman. Well, who is that? Brooke. Adams. She looks like her. She looks like the mom from Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, ah, hell yeah. Oh, that's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> that baby's got some good <laughs> he's pretty strong for being like 10 minutes old Wild at Heart is a horrible movie I like Wild at Heart Willem Dafoe's good enough you can suck my dick <sighs> I just I gotta, this, is my, this is my yeah, hill turn Daily we're, Ghost we're taking it back Jake <laughs> my hill turn <laughs> I love Nick Cage, but it was too much. No, Jamie. I don't know. Maybe I'll try again. I paid like 30 bucks for the fucking Blu ray. Which one? Wild at Heart. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it was literally 20 or 30. I'll buy it from you. There's a lot more than I wanted to pay. I don't want it. I'll buy it from you. Well, I, need to get, I really do need to give it another shot and actually watch it all the way through. But I just, I don't know. I, I kept thinking it was going to get better and then. Okay, just look, worse. honestly, if I'm, if I'm being honest, I do kind of like Lost Hallway. Hell yeah. That's the one, that's the one Lynch movie I, I do kind of enjoy is Lost Highway. I'm in your house right now. But I like uh, fucking... Without Patrick Ar Arquette. Patricia. <laughs> Big titty Patricia. I don't know. Is, is, uh, when is I was watching Dern and Wild Heart, she's the, 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 the love interest of Nicholas Cage. Yeah, she, and I just, she is not attractive at all to me. And I think that's a lot of the problem. I was watching the True Romance 4K the other day, and um, I was watching the deleted scenes. I was very delighted to see Patricia Arquette naked in those deleted scenes. That was pretty awesome. Even Patricia Arquette, like her face, kind of turns me off. She should put a bag over it, and then we're bullshit. all good. I call bullshit. She's gorgeous. <laughs> She's got fucked up teeth, man. I don't know what it is. I, 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 just, I, I agree with you that her teeth are fucked up, but I, I like that about her. Yeah, I mean, it's it's unique, you know? I would just yeah, get Chip I Rosanna Arquette to <laughs> deal with that. Rosanna will snort pills off your penis. <laughs> I would much prefer, me, me, Chip, would much prefer a Roseanne type. She looks like she's been hanging around the radio. I work at 7 Eleven. I think you'd prefer Alexis, honestly. <laughs> well, uh, she yeah. is dead, so. I mean, you get AIDS and, uh, and a dick in your ass. So. Hey, that's a win win, bro. Hell yeah, brother. I don't that's know who the, Hayden is. I'm Chip. <laughs> this transgender Arquette sibling that uh, is no longer, uh, uh, no longer with us. Uh, Apparently, is it was AIDS, but who knows? hooked up with uh, Jared Leto too. Hmm. Jared Leto's another guy who suck a fucking fat cock. Fuck <laughs> you. Hell yeah, fuck Jared Leto. I hate that guy. I 
I don't dislike him. I mean, he he does a good job. I mean, he, he just really. Eh, he ruined. Have you seen an interview with him? No. He, he ruins like a great cool comic character. I mean, he, he really does throw himself into the role, though. I got to respect somebody that does that, you know? Like, he actually got AIDS for Dallas Buyers Club, you know? Come on. <laughs> no, let's get out of that's here. A, that's a method, no. bro. What? Uh... Uh-huh. Oh, Ezra Miller can suck my cock. He probably would. Actually, no. I, I wouldn't actually that's, want that's that. A, that's a great point there, Andy. Yeah. Ezra's I'll just going like, to but... throw a chair at your head. Warner Brothers has to be sweating so bad right now. It's like, please don't turn into like some sort of Jonestown thing before we can like dump this movie. I heard he's out, right? Well, he's, like... out of the, he's out of he... the new one. What? No. He's fired. Yeah, he got fired. He's fired, but what I re- the way I read it was... He's fired after this. Like, they're going to release the movie, but after this, he's not coming back. Which, that's why I still say, barring something wild happens and, like, Jonestown or something happens, I mean, the movie's coming out because they've already got $200 million in it. Yeah, but I think something messed up might happen. I mean, Ezra Miller is legitimately insane. Uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And being that some of this involves kids... Oh, yeah, that's the big thing. I mean, look, look, Jamie, I don't mind Jared Leto, but he ruined the Joker, and he ruined fucking mm-hmm. Morbius. So as far as I'm concerned, he sucks. Big he did ruin the Joker. Joker. That fucking Joker sucks. He did. He ruined the character. That was a weird direction to go in, wasn't it? Yeah, but I don't like that director. Was it David Fint or David, who was it? Uh, David Fincher Ayer? or was it David Ayer? David Ayer, yeah. He's done a couple good things, but that wasn't the style to go with the Suicide Squad. It was it was weird. I like the new Suicide Squad that did the uh was it James Gunn that did that? Yes, yeah. it was good. I, I I love that shit. I, I like the Peacemaker show a lot too. I, I mean it's believe good. me, if anybody thought that, that show would suck, it would be me because I sorry, Jake, I'm not a big John Cena guy, but uh be better you know, with an actor. Actor. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We see what Cesaro's doing. Let's go to the fucking B show and <laughs> and suck on it. He's the only one that made Tony Khan cry. Well, yeah. I don't know why because Dude. yeah, he's got talent in the ring, but can he do anything else? No, no charisma, nothing. Can swing a guy for like ninety seconds straight. I can jerk off for ninety seconds straight, but <laughs> hey. <laughs> He was, uh, what the fuck happened to Kevin? Is that what it was called? Uh, yeah, we need to talk, need about, to talk Kevin. about Kevin. Which is, we, a yeah, what the fuck happened to Kevin? That's funny. <laughs> Kevin went, Kevin went down a dark path, is what happened to Kevin. <laughs> Big T agrees with me. I don't know what he's talking about, but hell yeah. <laughs> This was a good movie with the mom from Mrs. Doubtfire. She's, uh, <laughs> she's decided to keep her demon baby. I don't think Sally Take Field in, in 1991 was at the point where she's going to be in a movie where she gets stabbed in the tit by a mutant <laughs> baby. Things were going pretty good. <laughs> Actually, Sally Field's Doubtfire. like, right after I make the unborn, I'm going to go was, make Mrs. Was... Doubtfire. That hey, scene is what got her the rolling forest gun. There you go. <laughs> oh, Sally, so she was the mom. She was, wasn't that's, she? That's what's really bizarre because uh, she was in that stand up comedy movie, like right before that, where she's playing Tom Hanks' girlfriend. <sighs> yeah, I, I didn't have an issue with Leto. That movie just wasn't very good. He's no Heath Ledger. I thought it was hilarious how he, he gained all that weight to play uh, Mark David Chapman. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and he like had a lot of trouble losing the weight. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You're not Christian Bale, dude. Come on. 
Vin Diesel did that for a movie. People forget, like, after the first Fast and the Furious, and nobody it, saw the movie. It was a, like a mafia movie, right? Uh, I think it was like a courtroom thing, but it might have had a gangster. I don't even remember if I yeah, watched it. Yeah, I watched it. it I, I, I was when I got it Big Loss for like three bucks. Yeah, gained a shit ton of weight, but, like, nobody gave a shit about the movie. Oh, it's all about family, brother. Oh, I'm not nearly deep enough. Hold on. I hate those movies so much now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Leto can act. He's just he. Like, did you watch House of Gucci? I haven't seen that yet. Oh god, but I've heard it's pretty bad. That actor that that or that um, real life person that he played. You know, you can see video photos of the guy normal. But what Leto decided to do with it was just, I mean, it was an interesting decision. That's all I can say. Uh, but he's no Nick Cage, so it doesn't always work. Punchline, there you go, Indy. Oh, yes. Punchline, I have heard of it. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah, I, I watched it on like HBO years ago. I don't remember it too well. I think she's trying to be like a stand-up comic at a time when there really weren't a whole lot of female stand-up comics. Well, I don't think stand-up was that big at that time. It was kind of like on the downswing, right? Around that period of time? Yeah. Find me guilty. Yeah. That's it. That's it, Indy. Yeah, see, nobody... It was fun. I mean, I, don't... I think I might have seen it. I'm 50-50, but... Yeah, it always sucks when you go to those lengths and then it's a just kind of a forgettable movie that nobody sees. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. over superhero stuff, Jamie. I mean, uh, it's just too uh, much of it. I don't, I don't want to watch like 39 films to catch up. I'm but... watching uh, The Boys right now, season three. Mm -hmm. I like that because it's so dark, you know? I've heard good things, and honestly, if I watched something, I'd watch that because I don't think it's connected to some larger universe. It's just I think you'd like thing. it, man, really, because yeah. it's so, like, you know, satirical. I watched the first uh, two episodes or so of season one ages ago, and I liked it. Was it was pretty I just... bad. No, it was, it was good. I like Carl Urban. It's just... It's yeah. tough to keep up with too many shows now. I watch a lot of movies and yeah. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't know. I just could give two shits about anything superhero now. Like that new Blade movie could care less. If it was R rated, I might watch it, but I'm probably not even gonna watch it now. I hear they're gonna this is weird, what? like I heard they're going to put it out as an in an R and PG thirteen cut, which sounds bizarre to me. But I, I did hear. I don't know if it's official. But what is it? Uh, the new Blade, Blade movie, Marshala Ali, I think, is playing him. Yeah, yeah. Which He's fine. I don't see Disney. I really don't see them going R, but they might. I it yeah. It's just like I. I'm good. I like the Wesley Snipes movies. I, you know, even the TV show wasn't awful. It was, you know, Sticky Fingers. Sticky yeah, fingers. Sticky Fingers. Need some carcass up in here. Remember that, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> There's too much Star Wars. I'm sorry. I know people still love it, but when you've got like a dozen Star Wars series in development, it's not special anymore. Look, I'm the Star Wars Mark. All right, from day one, and Obi Wan did suck. Like I was so disappointed. Really? Yes. Yeah, that's I, my, like I loved it. it. It's that, awful. That's my fucking childhood right there. Is them prequels with and it was not good. I mean it wasn't good. What a it polarizing was, movie. It was amazing. Don't listen to them. Don't 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 listen to, to Chip. He's wrong. <laughs> Darth Vader You're not is alone, cool. But see, that's the thing. Like, I talk to some people. It's like, oh, I felt like when I saw Darth Vader walk in. You just had the fucking guy from I got a boner. Girls that was just Darth Vader. I, that alone. Like, you know, I'm a Star Trek fan. But just throwing characters <coughs> in front of my face isn't enough. 
That's an amazing movie. What are you looking for? The it's way amazing. Way. Good you story. Like the Picard show, Dan. Uh, you didn't like this little, little I liked, girl. I was running like, around. I was like 50 50 there. I had issues. Um, I like Picard. Discovery has a lot of issues. Um, there was a what the second season, I believe it was maybe the third season was stupid. Like, Discovery's got a lot of problems, but I, I, I still like Picard, but it's not perfect. Was Discovery Scott Bakula? No, that's Enterprise. You're going back a ways. Well, who, who's the captain in Discovery? This, well, uh, well, it's complicated. I'll just wait oh, for you to. Yeah, that's fine. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. that'll ruin it. I know you like. Okay. It, it's no complicated. Problem. I'll just put it that way. Um. Yeah. I, I agree, hmm. Jamie. I didn't even yeah. think Mandalorian was great. Say? Whoa, Dan! Come on now, Mandalorian. Whoa, watched... hey, whoa there, buddy! Hey, hold on. Mandalorian was better than we don't, anything we don't go there. Star Trek has ever produced in its fucking life. It's Dude, I love o- it more than my kids. It is an okay sci-fi action show. Not better than okay, just okay. No, it's. I watched... Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa! It's not that great. Ted Lightly over here. I didn't whoa, say it was Lightly. bad. I didn't say it was bad. I just said. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Just like, oh, I mean, no. I never watched. I've got I've never a baby, watched season two, but you know, I've got a baby version of Yoda. It's like this is the greatest. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Very fuckable. I, 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 I would saying. open up the next season with somebody curb stomping that thing and killing it. Oh, whoa, 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 hey there! Oh, that sounds great. And I would just—I would actually watch that. I would bask in the tears of all the fans, just straight up. <laughs> He's just walking in the desert, and one of those giant robot things just steps on it and smashes it. I would have been all since it's a dance, so it's not gonna fucking happen. Okay? I would have been all for that show had it not been a uh, baby Yoda, it'd have been a baby Al Suspiria. (laughs) (laughs) They're not. They're not gonna make that toy at Toys R Us. I'd 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 be. I don't know who, who Barney's talking to. Big T, yes. And the only reason that is because of David fucking Filoni. Filoni? Yes. <laughs> Who's that? Is he the guy that's Happy Hogan? I can, or is that John Favreau? I can't. I can no, John Favreau up. and Dave Filoni co wrote and directed Mandalorian. They need to get rid of Cat. And Strippers. Uh, or whatever that movie is called. Filoni did um, most of the Clone Wars animated show. He wrote most of all that. Okay. Hey, Boba- Favreau can suck my dick too. Isn't uh, the Boba Fett one pretty shitty too? It's not even about Boba Fett. It's <coughs> about- uh, the what? first few episodes are about Boba Fett, but no, it's not really much about Boba Fett. But it's still good because Boba Fett's not the best character in it. It's Which weird to weird. call it's it. It's better than Boba Kenobi. Fett. Yeah, oh, fuck yeah, it's way better. Kenobi. Well, it's a low bar. Like, Kenobi, the last ep- I like the last episode of Kenobi, but that was it. We're going to get, they're Hello, milking it Amber. to the level, you're going to get, like, a Jabba the Hutt, like, <laughs> series. Oh, that'll definitely happen. Yeah, he's dead, but. That doesn't matter, they'll uh, resurrect who? him. What's up, Godhammer? Jabba the Hutt. And I saw Bush on here earlier. That is that is true. That is true. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I just so, hey, look, I it's I don't just hate on it because it's mainstream. I love Stranger Things right now. I think Stranger Things has been kick ass. Ah, eh, it was until the end. Uh, I haven't watched the the last uh, half yet. Half so. of it. Yeah. Oh. It's like one of the only newer things they've done. I actually da, 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 da. Yeah, we we just finished uh, season one today with the family. They never watched it before. We're working our way through it. Is it is is it like oh. one of those situations what? where because everybody keeps telling me that season four is good, but like, is it going to be rough getting through the first three seasons to get to season four? No. Oh, no. For, no. Season one of Stranger Things is fantastic. It's good, and I still think like. I love season three. I think it's probably my second favorite season. 
it's ne it's never a hard watch. I thought there were some issues in season three, um, but yeah, I mean, season four for me so far has brought it back big time. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna say it. The Skywalker character is a is a bitch. I'm just he's a whiny. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on now. <laughs> he always has been. Yeah. I'm, look, I'm wait, not gonna hold, 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 hold. Dan. Thank you for bringing that up because I'm not gonna disagree because everybody bitching about Ray, and I'm like, oh, hey, whoa, 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 Skywalker, whoa. exact same as Luke Skywalker. She's hot as fuck. Tell she's me hot, I'm fucking wrong because fuck. you know I'm not. Yeah, I actually think wrong. in the in the very first movie, his aunt and uncle actually killed themselves because they didn't want to have to live with him anymore. <laughs> yes, I agree. I understand the Mary Sue. Yeah, <laughs> she's not because what's Luke then? A Mary fucking Sue? Because he's the no, exact I, same I, I fucking thing. I agree with you, man. I thought that was kind of bullshit. I I had no problem with Ray. But everybody wants to fuck. What the fuck is a Mary shit Sue? On Ray because she's a woman, and you know all that shit. And I'm like, no, she's Luke Skywalker. Is all she is. I mean, they had the same like, twist Sue. in those movies. It's like, oh, she's the Emperor's <laughs> granddaughter or whatever it was. I was like, you, you just did Return of the Fucking Jedi. It's just or well, whatever. He found out he was a Here's where they fucked up with this. And it's fucking Disney. It's Star Wars. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. But if you get J.J. Abrams to direct and write the outline pretty much, because he wrote the first one, so he's outlining two and three. Make the motherfucker sign a contract and do all three. Hmm. Well, because they need they need they, fresh creative is what they need. They, no, they need to get rid of this whole fucking Skywalker saga, which it's done. They need to go back. They got other good shit in the lore that they can do, like from the fucking old Empire and all that shit, or the whatever it is, mm. and it'd be good. Yeah. No old characters. Hey, yeah, I've got a video. Totally new. You got a video down there. I would uh, free screen that one. I'm trying to count. Is this safe for work? Yeah. I think it's oh, maybe. Hey, no. Is it paused? Okay, it's going now. It's not going to get shot, is it? I hope. I'd, I'd shoot it. Put him in the wall. I just don't want it on the stream. Get shot. That's it. Oh. It gets shot, doesn't it? <laughs> That's the I'm video. I start my own business where I, I go out and I film deer for people so that when deer season comes around, they know what they're looking for on their property. I know what I'm looking for. My God. So Look, if anyone wants to this so is call Ch Chapper. And uh, I'll hook you up. Luke is just like a crying, I got you, Big T. I'm going to go get another one right now, my guy. It's like an emo kid. He's just always bitching. Oh, I'm going to go hide on this mountain. <laughs> and Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What are we talking about here? <laughs> Have you seen Mark Hamill's You talking brother? about Skywalker? He's kind of a whiny bitch. Fuck too. Mark Hamill. You know, Mark Hamill's character is amazing. Cancer. <laughs> what is he like a woman one of those people like uh yeah no i don't know how to describe him yeah just what, what does he talk about uh i don't know everything he talks about the current thing he's a uh, you know what i'll shit talk star trek for a minute will wheaton wesley crusher Awful. Some ah. viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Is I don't. Uh, There's a pumpkin don't, pie video or something. Well, don't trust Chip. <laughs>, <laughs> Who laughs just ah. like Hayden? <laughs> 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 That's even worse. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You, you guys like NASCAR? Oh, fuck yeah. I can't wait to see this. This is hilarious. 
Hell yeah, boys. Win number two. I'm so happy that Chase got that Nashville guitar. Congrats to Chase on his second one of the year. And hopefully many more to come. Man, and a second oval win. You all people keep saying he can't win on ovals. Well, he can. And I believe in my driver. So this is for Chase, boy. Yes, woo! Yeah. Yes, woo! Hell yeah, boys, woo! Yes, woo! Congrats on another win, Chase. Yes, woo! I think uh, instead of buying another Chase Elliott uh, jersey there, he needs to buy a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> My dog likes it, too. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like that Play it. Chase is going to come it. home and it's find not bad, him I promise. in his bedroom or something. I don't something. believe you. <laughs> It's gonna be it's gonna be it's some five seconds. It's five seconds. No, we're not. I don't want to bring it up, man. <laughs> All right. Sitting on it. Just preview yet. it. Just pre preview it. I can't preview it. Wow. Yeah, just put click on it. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not bad. It's like, uh, all right, I understand. Everyone will just have to wonder what it was. It was a good one. You're starting a Patreon? I say Chase can't drive on ovals. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, watch. Well, watch him do it. What is this? I don't know if I want to bring that up either. It's, I don't know what it's gonna is. be some homeless guy taking his shit or something. That's what it is. He's even laughing. I can hear him laughing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Who me? That's exactly what it is. No. All right, Jamie wants me to click on it. Oh uh, yeah. So just to put it out there, Jay, the Stingray 2.0. Uh, <laughs> you may want to join it. Just... I have to bring this out. I don't know what it is. I didn't say die that. like this. A nigga go die. Like... <laughs> it's an old clip. If he's gonna die like that, he's gonna die like that. That's, what, that's how we do it. <laughs> I don't get it. That's, that was not even. That was not even like. Come on, baby. The dude gets shot in the part two of the video, but I didn't share that one. I had a guy on here. Uh, I played a video a few weeks ago. He's on his way to the hospital after he got shot, and he's like talking shit to the uh -huh. dude who shot him on the stream. Oh, I saw he's that. Got, he got shot in the neck. He's like, like gushing. Yeah. Like, like you motherfucking bitch. <laughs> he can barely talk by the end of it. My favorite clip that I think you played recently was that guy that was like, he had a gun pointed at him and he's just like pulling off his jacket, wanting to fight the guy and just gets kneecapped. I didn't, I didn't play it on stream because I knew they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. That one's not graphic. You don't really see anything. So it's, it's weird. I don't know what the rules are anymore. YouTube doesn't like it when people get hurt. So let's play some of those. Mm -hmm. You can play this one. You can play people I getting ready for you. On you? I didn't realize gay guys were in. <laughs> I, I'm actually. I watched that video the other day. I, I know where that's from. <laughs> <laughs> what is it from? I don't even remember. It. Um, it's like a YouTube channel called What Would You Do. And it's oh like yeah, with, uh, the the gay dudes, and then the guys like talking shit to the gay dudes, like in an Alabama. Uh, with John Tsunami, you're hosting they're like, they're like I wouldn't go to a football game with you. Like, but hey, y'all, we like football too. <laughs>
And like somebody always comes out <laughs> to defend them. They're like, "Hey, hold on, man. These guys are gay. Let them let them be gay. They they like football, man. Roll Tide." It's <laughs> it's so cringy. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, Where did it enter? I could you guys play, play that again. Play that again. Yeah. I was wondering what uh, went on a rider was up to. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, right. Wait, did she start bleeding? I didn't show uh, that, but <laughs> I would probably pass out. <laughs> like, I mean, you you think like if you if you're like, hey, go put your face next to the fucking dartboard. Like, you're pretty good at darts, right? <laughs> you missed the board like crazy. Where did they, where did they hit her? Like right I here. I couldn't see where it hit her. She was, she was lucky it didn't go in her. Oh eye. my god, really? Can you play it one more time for me? I'm stupid. Oh, I didn't even realize he did a second one. Yeah. Oh, oh. I still didn't catch that. You blink that. and you miss it. Yeah, I blinked every time I guess. Yeah, it just pops. <laughs> it goes in and just falls right out. She's pulls it right. Out, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's rough. that's rough. I've seen some people do some really stupid shit. Like, I think back on, like, some of my backyard wrestling stuff. There, That was some really stupid shit. But I don't know. I wasn't taking darts by some guy who's probably like ten beers in at least. <laughs> darts are mm -hmm. fucked up, man. You can really like. I saw this video like yesterday, where this guy like he was doing the same fucking thing, and he got one like he like turned and he got one right here in the side of his head, and he didn't even know. He's like, oh, you know, he's so fucked up. <laughs> he's like, pull it out of your. Somebody was like, pull it out of your head. <laughs> oh. That might have been right in her eye. It just it doesn't stick. She's probably lucky. I mean, if it, I mean, I think a dart would probably just about blind you if it hits you right in the eyeball. God, that sounds awful. Yeah. Ugh. I've got another good one here. This is a uh, this is a, a teacher that teaches a Down syndrome uh, class. And she um, took him on a little you field love trip. These. See what you guys think. Best field trip ever for that kid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's wild. Damn, whose idea was that? <laughs> it is. Do you, to get on the front, <laughs> do you want to get on the front of the pool with me? That I, I think we should yeah, not miss fought. Kevin. Miss Kevin. But kudos, that kid got lucky there. Hey. Good for him. <laughs> I didn't have any field trips like that. Uh -huh. 
you have the the drag one. I actually deleted those because I've played them way too much. <laughs> what I was telling my kids earlier, I showed them to them. I'm like, I had to delete these because I, I like them so much. I play them all the time, and I'm probably driving everybody crazy. <laughs> I got a video. I'm not playing that. <laughs> Oh, come on. I don't know this was is. friendly. It's on a Trump TV show. He just reverted into complete Aiden for like the last five minutes. <laughs> oh, this is a, it's from SNL or something. Bring up the... Uh, Click it. Click it. What's the, what's the Pete Davidson. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> Just oh, click hey, it. how you doing? I loved you in that movie Rush Hour. Tell Chris Tucker, Starkeisha said, hello. It's better than Rush Hour. Oh, shit, sure, here we go. Why is, it, why is it still up there? Okay, there we go. Oh, did we lose Chip? We lost Chip right when you just rushed. Oh, wait, no, I, I took Chip out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was about to say, you motherfucker. You got me and Drew in the house. You can't be talking about Rush Hour like that. <laughs> Rush Hour 2 is be- the best out of all. Tell them Shocky just said hello. Better. Hayden, that's comparing. And even Rush Hour 3. Rush Hour 3 is better than Lethal Weapon. Yeah, that's true. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's a load of horse shit, Aiden. No way. And I finally watched the other Lethal Weapons, <laughs> and they're all trash. <laughs> they're full of Horrible shit. series. Horrible series. <laughs> they're making another one, so. Yeah. Yeah. It was Danny yeah. Glover's too old for the you know, it's weird. Like, Danny Glover was like 32 when he made that movie. <laughs> He's like, I'm way too old for this shit. He you're looked like, 52. You're like 80 now. You know, are you old? <laughs> still too old for it? Or? He looks <laughs> old, too. Like, you're going to have to have him in like a retirement home at this point. Danny yeah. Glover's looked old mm-hmm. for a while, man. I don't know what's going on there. Like, he's just yeah. one of those guys that aged really early, I guess, because I remember, like, was it the first Saw he was in? He looks same, really old in that. Same thing with Patrick Stewart. You go back to like Excalibur and <laughs> dude looks the same now. Yeah. He looked 60 when he was 25. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Who wants to, I mean, look, who wants to see a Martin reunion at this point? Uh, it's too, no. What's he going to do? Shanae? Come on, man. Yeah, it just kind it's of feels click, long. Click it. underwhelming. I've heard that that remix. That, you, you didn't even let know, play enough for the joke is. to get across. Watermelon. Every other word is chicken, just so you guys know. Just play it. Finish it up. Come on. It's all right. <laughs> Fine. That's how, how it is. How would they do a Fresh Prince? I'll find them. Doesn't the mom on that hate Will Smith? She like ruined her career afterwards. Well, or something. the original mom, yeah, the original Aunt Viv. Yeah, like, do you have them both back? It's isn't it like a more serious take on it? The, it's the like new a thing. Kid yeah, or... it's, it's 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 completely different. I think than yeah. the original show. I, it's like I'm a ass- drama, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm assuming he's talking about an actual reunion, reunion right now. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> well, I think Danny might win that one. He'd be fighting a skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> Sidney Poitier has been dead, right? I bet you'll, I'm wrong. I bet you'll play no. that one. Is he still alive? He is still alive. Oh. <laughs> My bad, Sidney. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I'm talking died. about. Too. If he did, he just did. I I don't know. I don't pay I as he, close I think attention he just to like Hollywood. This is what I'm talking about, Chip, right here. Back with another 3 a.m. challenge. As you guys know, my girlfriend Alexia just passed away in a tragic accident, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that video so much. 
Oh, he is dead. Okay. Okay, but recent, right? Yeah, January. Oh, okay. wow. That sucks. Uh, yeah, I, I, it, it had to be recent. Yeah. He was acting in like the 60s, like the early 60s. Oh, before that, yeah. Really? Wow, man. He must yeah. have been, he must have been he pretty was, old. He was born in 1927. Damn! So he almost made it to 100. <laughs> 95. <clears throat> yeah. it's, uh, oh, it's on BT. That's right. Yeah, I don't know who wants to see Fresh Prince as a drama. I don't know. That just people say it's terrible. That's all I've heard. I haven't ever. It, I'm not it, going it, to watch that. Horrible. I'm amazed they haven't brought back Married with Children yet. That seems like the next like candidate to me what could they do with that though now you know in Just today's environment you know pick up where they left off i mean al bundy dealing with life in 2022 would be pretty funny i mean he's gonna fat shame he's gonna be yeah. sexist you know it's all the stuff that doesn't fly anymore so it, it would also be just as popular as it was if if they do it the right way I said bring back the Cosby show. <laughs> I, I'm going to say you're not going to get that one. <laughs> Have you guys watched The Boys? Do you guys watch The Boys? Oh, my God, no. I'm like four no. episodes into season three. This, there's, no. a, there's a funny Cosby joke in, in there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's not spoiling anything, but it's just like when Soldier Boy comes back, he's like, Cause he's, you know, he's back from the eighties and he's, when he comes back, he's something about, something about Cosby. He's like talking about the Cosby and he's like, man, that guy makes some strong drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, imagine like you or I don't know, go back like 10 years. And if somebody told you like Joe Rogan's like the most popular podcast in the world, Cosby's Cosby's a rapist uh you know there's there's a, a lot of things i feel like you would just think you were getting trolled yeah i uh i thought it was hilarious when i, I watched that that uh you know the documentary on hbo about all that uh we need to talk about cosby yeah and he when, when they start talking about the spanish fly like this motherfucker talks about it multiple times in stand-up specials and in his book and on Larry King Live, he goes ah. into detail. He's like, you just need a little, like a pin, a little, you know, pin drop of it. Yeah, no. Uh, what? Who is that British guy? guy? I always forget his name, but like. What is that? What? It's actually some sort of hormone from a species of fly that. Yeah. It It is supposed to make women like want to have sex, but it really like it does. Hold it on. Let me like, get a pin and paper. It makes their like genitals warm or something like that. They had some like drug expert on there. Slow down, slow down. Hold on. He he used more than Spanish fly, though. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th I think he eventually right, moved just on. Just a pin, like, a pin drop. What was it called again? Mexican fly. Spanish fly. Spanish. Fly. You can okay, get it in Mexico. Spanish it. fly. And what was that last part? It makes them warm down there. Apparently. Ooh, okay. Now, how do you administer it? In like a beverage, I believe. Oh, do you have to mix it up or does it dissolve naturally? No idea. Well, come on. I need all the info if I'm going to do this. Uh, go watch the documentary. It's on HBO. <laughs> I got a clip down there. The documentary has too. the whole recipe. <laughs> recipe? No. <laughs> they, they, they talk about it for quite a while on there, though. Which really sucks, man, because Cosby really, uh, really paved the way for a lot of like black comedians at the time. Which they all looked up to him and shit. Like the longest time, I defended this guy. I was like, we just got a bunch of fucking hood rat hoes that are just telling lies and shit. But you know. He owned up to it, so what are you going to do? You know, I hear that all the time about how, like, influential he was. I've never watched his stand-up. Is he, like, vulgar in his stand-up? No. 
Not no. at all. It's very, very fan, yes. family friendly. Jimmy, what are you guys yeah. smoking? He literally smokes a blunt during one of his specials. <laughs> he was like talking about getting high and shit for the entire thing. It was very surprising when I first saw it. Nah, Cosby. He's wearing like a clean. suit. I'm trying to think. He's like there... sitting down in a chair. But I'll that, send you guys link. that Jimmy Savile, I always forget his name, but that oh, the docs weird. on him are insane. Like he straight, I mean, he straight up like admits to stuff in a joking way, and oh man, that his his story. Who, OJ? Jimmy Savile, and if you haven't watched the docs on him, watch it. Some of it's it makes like you, nightmare fuel. Makes you wonder how he got away with it for so long, man. It was like decades he was doing that shit. People covering it up for him. I mean, powerful dude. I mean, at that time. Yeah. Yep, that's right, Jamie. There, might, there may or may not be a video down there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 But I mean, half the time, like they talk about it in the doc, like half the time the girls are like, "Yeah, you gave me two pills and I, I, I took them, and I drank yeah. a whole bunch of vodka or whatever." You know, it's it's crazy. It's like I feel like 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 Janice Dickerson and shit. Like, did you really need to roofie her? She'll roofie herself. You know. It's a. I remember a Rogan story that like like I think he said back in the '80s or early '90s when he first came to LA. Like, just some other stand-up comic just went to him and just told him exactly what Cosby does. Like, the story was always out there. Ah, Big T, I, I hope a uh, good meeting. Is that when he could see? Could, could he still <laughs> see when he met him? What's up, Mike? What's going on? Hey, Mike, we're just talking uh, Jimmy Savile. I know you'll know who that is. <laughs> Alright, let's get this going here. Yeet, yeet, skirt! Yeet, yeet, skirt, skirt, skirt! Roll up, yeet, drop that, yeet, skirt that, yeet, pop that, yeet! Hey, 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 hey! You never loved me, Mom! But I needed you, whoa, yeah! <laughs> It's and then the other video? Annoying human being. <laughs> I'm afraid of this one. No, come on, motherfucker. Come on. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, it's a song. You ever heard of those guys? It's a good song. I'm not I'm playing just... anything else you put up here. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, Gut Hammer, yes. And sometimes it's surprising if you click on... There's a few that they've like gotten Pain around. photos. Yeah, uh, I think Don Johnson. <laughs> I got, I got one more for you. <laughs> no, I'm actually out. Pedo, he's a That's pedo. It. I think if you played more of the video, it'd give context. And oh no, check well, this one yeah. out. Ask me what you think. This video is called uh, Wakanda 2. What are you going to get into a fight? I can't even come around. Hold up. Hold up. Who's taking a dump back there? Yo, look at this arm. He's taking a shit in the thing. Yo, Ill, you wiping his ass. What the fuck? Yo, disgusting, bro. Look at this. Yo, that's crazy. Hell, he's speaking. Yo, look at this. Oh, disgusting. Damn. <laughs> well, that was some misdirection in that video. <sighs> so, you think this guy's okay? <laughs> oh, I, I, would, I would go with broken broken Based? ribs, concussion. Next. He might have locked out. I mean, let's see the impact. 
Yeah, broken arm too. Um, I actually reached out to his people, and and he's fine. There you go. Sometimes you get surprised. The, the, <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the, the key to that is keeping your body limp. You really get injured when you tense up, you know, bracing for impact. So if you get <laughs> really inebriated, right? you know, just, you know, just hit. That's the way to do it. I've known some people, like, they have done stuff. Like, I'm like, what did you think was going to happen? Like, I've known people who've jumped out of, like, hotel balconies or apartment balconies yeah. into, like, some little thing of water, and it's like, yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, Best whenever case there's... scenario, you, you land in the pool. Worst case, you die. And, like, blow your kneecaps out. And... Yeah. Damn. <laughs> blow out everything. You just, like, claw finger? I don't know what that is. Claw fing- finger? Well, I tried to play a clip of them live a second ago. And, uh, <laughs> You've lost Jay your clip seem to be in years. Is, Chip. Um, it's I'll why, like, you know, speaker. drunk drunk drivers, like, usually the drunk drivers are fine when they, they, like, kill a bunch of people, you know, because they, they're they so, so fucked up they don't, like, you know, brace. For yeah. Yeah. They're just like yeah. loose and they just like bounce around in there and they're okay. <clears throat> yeah. You guys remember the uh, that crate challenge? Oh, some of those are so brutal. <laughs> Changing your username is not going to help. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's broke. Oh my god, dude, are you okay? Let yeah, my wrist is broke. Oh my god! Fuck. Fucking hell! Oh. Oh my god. I think god. he broke it. Yeah, that, there's some that are even worse with that. Like, oh man. Can you send them to me? I'll, I'll find them. I, oh man. There's like one where it like. He like kind of split, like he did the splits almost. Ew. He kicked him out. What? Oh my god! Yeah, it was. I don't know how that got started, but it's got bad idea <laughs> written all over it, man. What's the current stupid trend? I I know they had the cinnamon challenge, which killed a bunch of people. Uh, crate well, challenge. It did. Cinnamon. Yeah. yeah, that's not. You, you should die from that. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's you, deep, yeah. The whole thing is like it's not possible. I don't think so. Yeah. You always cough it up and then inhale it back into your lungs is what's the bad part about it. Yeah. Yeah, no, that huh. that, that had some body. Well, I guess the Tide Pod thing. But what's, like, the current dumb thing? There's always, like, a... I saw one called the Boiled Water Challenge where you would, like, you boil a bunch of water and throw it on somebody. <laughs> Not really much of a challenge to that. You just, you know, give someone third degree yeah. burns. It's kind of like the acid challenge. <laughs> Throw acid on your friend. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they can look uh, like a marshmallow forever. <laughs> well, tripping over a sprinkler bin just sounds like a regular kind of accident. That's not like, you know, that's just bad luck. Stacking up a bunch of crates and like spiking yourself on your head is a little dumber than that. Yeah. Split face video. I don't think I've seen that, God Emily. Sounds oh. interesting. Yeah, that'll that'll definitely that'll be J two point from here on out. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Yeah. Only fans content. <laughs> wow, it's like one of those freak accidents, right, Ben? Oh, At least yeah, you weren't doing anything stupid, you know? Uh oh. <laughs> this is another video creeping in. Will he play it? <laughs> We've got two <laughs> options here. Neither one uses the N word or any profanity at all. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> There's zero dignity, uh, zero gore. And so one. what we gather yeah. from what he just said is there is plenty of nudity, plenty of gore, and plenty of bad words. 
Yeah, uh, well, Gunham the last, the, la the last frame in one of the two videos might be very explicit. Yeah. We we'll have to choose, so what, choose I'm going to roll the, right the dice? I'll roll the dice. On this. <laughs> Just the last frame. YouTube won't catch it. No, okay. I'm just joking. They're both clean. You know what they both are, I think. Jay, this Me and Jay go way Patreon back. Patreon coming soon. <laughs> Me and Jay and Chip. Well, that's not it. Hi there. This is all Seer. I just uh, was experimenting with uh, fireworks for Halloween. And I, I think oh, I've really? perfected mixture with uh, sulfur and I'm using some potassium magnum, magnesium so uh, I'm going to light this and it should just spark for a little bit I've got this protective cloth down here uh, how is that a protective cloth it it's a tablecloth yeah I don't think it's going to protract from fire hey what are you doing Okay, He's about to blow his eyes. Put your face off. closer to it, you oh, so fucking you'll, idiot. <laughs> so you'll play this shit, but you won't play my Halloween 2 clip of the mayor. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> A little too much magnesium, I guess. I, mean, uh, I won't do that. He's intact, at least, but I mean, I think his eyes. Are... <laughs> oh, was that even real? That almost looks like fake. Too much, mag too much magnesium, guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gutthammer. I've yeah, I've shared plenty of degloving videos with these guys, but not uh, publicly. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's two videos down there for you to choose from. All right, Mr. Shine, I'll, I'll play one. my intro I used to be in my intro nice <laughs> on, where, where, live. where was that your intro I don't know it's called like the something collection I don't remember it's a uh, golden underscore Picasso on twitch exclusively <laughs> become a member today uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that one too Ooh, 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 ooh. Looks like he's gonna bust one. <laughs> I couldn't believe how bad that movie was. Kind of feels like he he was getting ready to hook up with right. Andy, but got a little too excited. <laughs> yeah, that very well may have been fake, Billy. It almost know. looked too fake. Like maybe it, I don't know. Well, it's almost like the well, camera the, the, moved the, the, the like further crying? back or something. I think it was. Are you talking about the guy who blew his face up a second yeah. ago? Well, he didn't blow it up. Yeah, really. that was fake, yeah. I think. Jay, I'm going to send you one. It's it's not as appropriate, inappropriate as the other ones, but it's pretty funny. I'll send it to you on Twitter. It's a, oh, okay, on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow you'll have a bunch of stories about people doing similar things. One thing I always see somebody that just decides to light like a ton of them off at the same time and gets too close. I actually got a story, not to, not to get too serious, but I saw a kid in my uh, hometown got killed tonight with fireworks. So. Jesus oh, Christ. Shit. Oh my God. What happened? I, I don't know. I haven't heard like the story, but uh, he's just got killed somehow. Probably something along those lines. Probably. That or, yeah, I mean, I remember that jackass skit where they were in that tiny car and started setting them off. Oh, yeah. 
After I saw that guy get his hand blown off, I don't think I want to mess around with fireworks. No. Hold them in your hand, that's for damn sure. Well, you're fine, just get a lighter and move away, but... <laughs> he did seem not phased. Brock. I'm coming. I'm just gonna come as hard as I can. You come in my face, I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna come on you like nobody's uh -huh. come on you before. <laughs> Good God! Come on! Come on! I'm coming hard. And Sting uh -huh. always coming from behind. I'm coming for <laughs> Boy, stay on the side. We're looking forward to uh, blowing everybody. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's coming. Okay. I gotta go massage my thighs before bed. Okay. There you go. It's nice to have Everybody you back. Everybody have a great night. Good night, Hayden. Good night. Oh, I, this is my first. This is my. This is my first appearance. You're talking in Hayden's voice right now, literally. No, it's it's you all stopped, slightly. You stopped giving a shit about the <laughs> accent like an hour ago. <laughs> what accent? No, this is Chip. <laughs> you still don't have it. Wait, hold on. The, it's like you no, it's on. It, I mean, th this is my voice. <laughs> yeah. No, it, wait, what does it sound like? Like yeah, no, this is Chip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Chip's anyway. long gone. <laughs> yeah. Go massage I'll, your thigh. Nope. Hey, Chip Chip. Hopefully I can catch Bush next time. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, bye everybody. Good See you, man. <laughs> It's like an hour plus of him not doing the acts. <laughs> yeah, he slowly faded out of it. Uh, um, yeah, I got a few more videos for you. Uh, uh, wrap it up, B. Uh, let's see here. Go with first. Oh. No, not that one. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We will leave that there, ladies and gentlemen, bring us to a shorter interval. I do believe we need some med medical attention. So please do not panic, and we will try and get the attention that he needs as soon as possible. So if you... <laughs> you know what sucks the most about that? Is he just, like, broke a bunch of shit or maybe killed himself? I don't know. But no, he's fine. Um, <laughs> no. But, uh, or, he's fine. like, there was, like, three people in that whole place. You know, there was, like, <laughs> yeah. not even a lot of people watching that. Damn. It's fucked up. That cannon shit's kind of scary. It is. Yeah, I mean, what was supposed to happen? I mean, it was supposed to obviously have more force behind it, right? It's supposed mm -hmm. to go yeah. farther. Yeah. yeah. Jeff Hardy's been doing that forever. He's good. Mama didn't raise no bitch. All right, I'm going to end on this. This is a much more... Uh, uh, safe video so you guys see what she's doing i don't know if it's it may get flagged for copyright but who gives a shit see what you guys think wow that had to be florida like I, it's 100 I, I feel like that guy's like right down the road uh, <laughs> hey everybody. Actually, oh jesus hello president bush <laughs> yeah, all right gentlemen barbara went to bed you so wore up. 
So old hips. Those long day. dick in there. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that felt very Reno 911 to me. Uh, I'm trying to figure out exactly what the cop was doing. Did he just get locked out of his house? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't have the part before that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I guess that had to be it. I feel like I've, I've seen that episode before and like, he was just trying to prove to the cop that that was his house. Like I'm not breaking uh, into it, you know, because okay. I, I lost my key or whatever the hell his reason was. Yeah. Yeah. That that's gotta be Florida. Although we did uh stream with the guy during COVID who said, uh, I think it was our stream, uh, where he, he was, we were talking about Tiger King, and he said he was like down the road from a guy who had like actual tigers at his house, like in South Carolina or something. Jesus. So it, it's a thing. Feel like I'd be awfully pissed if I were the neighbors. That's, uh, I think that's in like Ben's neck of the woods. That was Oklahoma, right? Uh, Tiger King's Oklahoma. Uh, this was oh, who was it? I think he was friends with Pug. Some actually, I think he's a country music guy. Um, yeah, that kind of had some like insight into these like wild, exotic pet people. There's Hayden's uh, Twitch. I will set up a Twitch at some point, Hayden, so I can watch your stuff. And uh, on that note, guys, <sighs> let's call it a night. Everybody, Good night, uh, guys. You guys have anything to plug? I mean, do you even want to plug it at this point? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't exist. I am just a simulation. <laughs> I'm waiting for Dan to change my fucking batteries. <laughs> see, when's your next uh, commentary, Jake? Um, Friday? Shit. Is it? No, I don't have one scheduled. Okay. Uh, my next, my next show is. I think it is Friday though. Is with uh, Corey. We're gonna do a full Corey from Cable Channel Eleven. We're gonna do a oh, cool. full moon show. Cool, man. I'm curious to see the next nominee. 